Uh, All right. It's kind of nerve wracking. It was kind of nerve Yeah, coming back. I've never so many years. really felt. Oh, 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 the, the, <laughs> yes, yes, absolutely. So many years. Yeah, I think it's been like four years since, since my last video. Which, yeah. Last one was. Um, <laughs> I can't even remember my Dude, last video. That's how long ago it was. Um, ago. It was about um, it was about like conspiracy. It was about weird coincidences oh, in the That was the number. That was the yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. And the only one I remember is like Miroslav Shatan. Yes, voodoo that's, shit. Yeah, that's the only thing I remember about that video. Um, wait, sorry. On a pause. Am I, yeah. Are we allowed to swear or no? Are we swearing? Yeah, we can swear. We can swear. Steve yes. Dangle swears in his podcast. Oh, does he? Yeah, okay, yeah. I didn't know. Actually, I didn't know that. Yeah. Okay. And he left Sportsnet too. I saw that to for his own focus thing, right? on his podcast, mm. which I really love, by the way. I used to be. I used to listen to that like three weeks. I mean, um, three days. A week, the three times a week, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. Ever since like 2016, yeah, he really yeah. is. OG. Yeah. If you think about it, he's like the first social media YouTuber of hockey. Well, yeah. I mean, he was the he was really the only one I watched. It yeah. was he like the he, only one that was, was around. Only him. Yeah. yeah well, I mean, he was only he's the pioneer. He's like our little daddy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, I used to. It, it's so funny though, right? Because like neither of us. I mean, you were kind of a Maple Leafs fan. Like I don't know no, what. Yeah, the, yeah. I don't know what what what, what uh, <laughs> box you put yourself in for that. But uh, I don't know. I feel like the Leafs. We talk about we talk about this all the time, but the Leafs are such underdogs. Dude, I feel this like guy, this guy. No, like, I don't understand the, how people don't cheer for the Leafs. What do you mean the depth? Like that statement in of itself makes absolutely no sense. I we had this argument already once before. <laughs> we, yeah, always that <laughs> literally makes no sense. How are how are the Toronto Maple Leafs underdogs? They're literally full of superstars. They're literally contenders. The definition of an underdog is like like the Florida Panthers this past season. No, well. That's true. <laughs> That's true. Like um, in the fantasy hockey, I try to grab Austin Matthews round one, but I can never get him. Never get him. Um, Marner was a maybe second round. But yeah, since the lockout, you know how many playoff wins no. <laughs> the Leafs have? The Lightning this last season? <laughs> Oh, did they lost the Lightning? Wow, this just shows. No, they, me no, no, they won. That's what I mean. So that must be. In... That was that was their only win. That's what I mean. Since That's, the lockout, yeah, since two thousand four. That's crazy. Is that not an underdog for people? No, but I just think no, 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 no. Oh, I, okay. I see your direction. I they see haven't where you're won coming anything. From. But I, th- I just think that means they were disappointments. What? No. No, because they were expected. To, like, it's not like they were like you know a team that didn't have anything, and then suddenly like, oh my god, they came out of nowhere and they won. They were always expected to do something, even when they went all in with those two first overall, like two first round picks for Phil the throw. They were expected to do something. They always failed. Are Canucks? Underdogs? No, don't get. No, don't. Get Canucks going. are very expected. Don't, to do don't get going with the Canucks right now, dude. Like, I don't, dude, the Canucks fans should really look at the Maple Leafs model <laughs> and see how Dubis built that team. How Dubis? Why, why? By just giving everyone just like I mean, because dude, it's ironic because the Canucks' first official rebuild, starting off with Oli Ulevi, I'm gonna say, like oh, Jake yeah, Furtado and Slash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were like in the same position as the Leafs. But we went nowhere. Mm. And the Leafs are at least in the playoffs every yeah, year. But, <laughs> at but least. Then the Leafs got Austin Matthews and they got, you know, like. So, okay, but you're saying, like, if we got that first overall pick in that year, we would have drafted Austin Matthews too. No, but no, you no. were saying that we wouldn't have headed in that sort of direction. They like, built a good team. Dubas built a good team. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and Jim Benning definitely. Yeah, the, J- <laughs> the JV. I call this uh, the Jimbo Limbo. Oh, why? Uh, the, the era of the Canucks the, era oh, the Jimbo God, Limbo yeah, well. even today it's when did what, he come in I, um it was after it was, it was after the Canucks fucked up something probably after they got eliminated somewhere right like when we were like like in the like 2014-ish era am I thinking that right now like what yeah that was the year Longo got traded I think 2015 was Jim Benning's first season with mm-hmm. Willie Desjardins because I'm trying to remember because like who drafted Hor- yeah. Horvat I think it was Gillis is oh, that was Gillis. That was Gillis. Gillis's yeah. last pick was Horvat, right? And <laughs> so I think Benning drafted Rutan, and that was just the start of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Benning drafted Rutan. Yeah, I mean, if uh, listen, yeah. yeah that's... Now I was like, oh yeah, well, he's a new guy. Like, what does he know? I gave him slack, but what do we know? Well, ten years later, well, nine years later now, almost yeah. ten. The Abby boy. Yeah, well. that's what's <laughs> weird because like people are so upset that we didn't take Benson today. Yeah, I was, the local I was, yeah, boy. Yeah, I was but it was exactly. like, do you guys really want a local boy? Like, <laughs> he looks stoked to get drafted by Buffalo. Like, he was a high. Oh, really? 
maybe it was because he was finally picked him. after sliding, but like he looked hyped to go there. So maybe he's thinking like Damn. it's a big market. There's lots of you know, NFL, you know, all these different teams mm, there. Yeah. He yeah. won't be the main guy. He can walk around the streets all happy, go mm-hmm. do whatever he wants. Yeah. And well, we got another speed. <laughs> <laughs> but, but yes. Yeah. Um, That's crazy. But no, no. Uh, but we're back or Buff- you're back. I Sorry. should say. Buffalo is stacked. Holy crap. They got I mean, Benson now. Yeah. Cousins oh. is crazy. And Dolan, like, really yeah, broke. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah, and, like, Canucks and Buffalo, they're, like, pretty, like, head-to-head. Well, they're, like, they came in, in together. In terms of, yeah, in terms of rebuild. Right. Stages. So. Even history. Have they ever won a cup? No. No, they had that, and they had that, like, crazy, like, unfortunate luck with the foot in the crease and all that, too, right? When Hashik wasn't it? Yeah, I, I made a video about that. Oh, there you go. Yeah. So, yeah. And, yeah. I mean, so, I mean, wow. listen. Lots of sad teams in the league. We're one of them. <laughs> Buffalo is yeah. one of them. We're just talking about the Canucks. <laughs> Listen, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, people are like, "Where the fuck?" No, you can shift this around. We can shift this around. We can push this back in the middle. But yeah, so um, I gotta ask, like, you know, you you decided to help back on a mic one day. You decided to start making some content again. Like, well, uh, why'd you decide to come back? Um, well, I never actually decided to leave mm. in the first place. Mm. But I should apologize to everyone. Because I kind of just left without saying anything. Mm. But after a solid run of just like uploading multiple, <laughs> like consistent, <laughs> just like, yeah. oh, you know. And yeah. I remember this one comment. Some guy was like, my man got millions of views and just dipped. <laughs> <laughs> which is al- which is also just like an OG move. But like. Yeah. Yeah. But. Um, but yeah, I guess I just. Um, I just say what happened. Well. It's a it's a tough question to answer. Mm. I feel like I need to go back to the beginning. Um, the first time I was having a vacation in Korea. Oh wow! And I was very bored. Right? So Is I that just, when we went? Is that when we met? Um, that's when when you were there. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> Next time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I was. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are you talking about? Are you thinking about the story that yeah, I had? Yeah. yeah. That, okay. Yeah, definitely next time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I was just bored and I was in bed. Um, and I opened up YouTube and I'm not... I used to play basketball in high school, but I never watched any of the games. Mm. But there was this basketball YouTuber call, called uh, Mike Korzemba. Okay. And he would post like basketball videos, right? And it was like, why is Michael Jordan the greatest of all time? Okay, cool. Just stuff like that. And I was like, I looked at this and I was like, damn, like this... Like this is, we're talking like 2016 right, YouTube, right? Right, right, right. And I was like, this is the future. <laughs> <laughs> like there, there, there was no TikTok. Right. Instagram, I don't know if Reels were like very popular back then, but... I don't think they were. No? I think Reels came after TikTok's boom. Really? Yeah, dude. Like Instagram adopted that model. I'm pretty sure. I mean, really? Don't call me on that, but That's like, crazy. Yeah. Oh, the Chinese. <laughs> they're on it. <laughs> Little side note. Apparently, the top 10 buildings around there that's being built right now yep. like are like all Chinese course dude it's a plant over there it's a plant it's a machine it's just a it's an absolute <laughs> unit like it is this is the communist unit they got a system going it's yeah. it might not be humane but it's going <laughs> it's going um, um so mike Rizemba. <laughs> <laughs> yes og basketball content yeah. creator yeah he's still i think he's still going on i was like damn this is the future right mm. so he has commentary and he has clips mm. so he talks about the player he has clips he talks about it and i was like damn like this looks really fun. And like, I watched all his videos, right? That's what I want to do. I was like, okay. I get, it's like that moment where you have like, I want to do this. Mm. That was a summer. And then I went back to school. Mm. And by that time, I was like pretty much failing everything. It was like my second year. I, I, um, I was a business bachelor candidate. Fail limit was five, but I failed oh, six. Yeah. <laughs> so if oh. I want to go back to school... I need to redo six courses mm. and then on top of that, continue on and become and like um, do third year, fourth year, right? So I was like, man, like I hate this. I yeah, don't want to do this. That sounds awful. Yeah. So I was like, I took a, I was like, fuck this. I'm out. Screw yeah. this. And then I just started the channel. Mm. That's when I started. So you took a break here? Yeah. It yeah. was like, uh, I call it break here now, but it was like my year of like, I don't want to do this anymore. Right, 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 right. I want to do YouTube. Wow. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> That's pretty Is it cool? cool. It, it does sound pretty fucking cool. I was like, I want to do YouTube. Because mm. Mike Corzamba, that's a great layout. And 
I really, I really wanted to do it, right? So the first video I spent like, the first video I was editing, I literally spent a lot of hours, but I knew I had to do like add 12 more hours editing in. Wow. So I'd spend like the whole night and then my first upload was like in the morning. That's when like my channel, I was like, I finished the editing. I was like, wait, what's my name going to be? (laughs) (laughs) I just thought of the most random, like funniest thing. A Canadian and a jock. Who's going to think of that? (laughs) (laughs) I love it. I love it. So yeah, that was the first video. It was was like um, something about free agency. Okay. All all I remember is that all those takes that I had were like all wrong. Oh, really? Yeah. (laughs) One of them was like Washington. It was 2017. So Washington's going to lose Carl Alsner. Okay. And then I was like, oh, they're never going to win the cup. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, God. We need to go clip that somewhere, please. That is so funny. And then, like, because when they win, 2018? I mean, they won pretty soon after yeah. that. Like, there was pretty much team. right after. Yeah. <laughs> Carl Alsner was like the, the difference, the rock, the rock <laughs> of the team. The oh, man, the glue. That just shows you how much disrespect Ovechkin got mm. back in the day, huh? From you, <laughs> from you, from you specifically. Of a lot you of know, people. I was always on Obi's back. You know, I but always... you disrespect Crosby. All no, time. no, 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 no. Crosby just. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Crosby's a legend. Can't deny that. But definitely at the time when we were younger, oh yeah, it was like Ovi versus Crosby. He was a legend Crosby. back then. I know he was. Bro, but I was... he went against Nicholas Lindstrom in the finals two times. Listen, him back... and his big ass, like I get it. Like you just back it into anyone, <laughs> Dude, I get it. But... He's the most elite grinder. He really right. has ever He's seen. the most skilled grinder, right? Absolutely. The most skilled grinder, yeah. With his big ass, big, his big thighs. Big thighs, yeah. big butt. Crazy. I still remember when he was like, was it Carlson that he took on a ride or whatever? Like way back, like spin- oh shit, spinning um, back and forth that oh, playoff. Yeah, 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 was it Carlson? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't remember, but that he was, was a was pretty... like on his knees, pass it to uh. Latang. Those are the, that's, uh, I really love that Pittsburgh team. Yeah. yeah. I don't really think was. you did though. I was envious, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I was just Yo, like, just focus on the Canucks. I was, man. listen, that makes it even more depressing. At least give me a little bit of Obi love, but. Yeah, yeah. It, it was because it was always Sid versus Ovi mm-hmm, and Ovi, mm-hmm. Sid always knocked him out yeah. because of his team. And Ovi wasn't that great back in the day. Dude, what, the guy had like... What, did he not have a 60-goal season? In terms of playoff hockey? Listen, okay. I still remember he though. He really the matured his game. Like defensive-wise. Sure. Have you seen that clip where he's playing defense? <laughs> just, just coasting? <laughs> yeah, he's just yeah. standing. <laughs> he's just skating yeah, on the yeah, ice. Yeah, as the other guy is like taking a shot on his goal. Listen, that's high IQ play. <laughs> oh, is he it? knows nothing's that, happening. That's like that messy play in the FIFA. <laughs> exactly. Just keeps scanning for like 10 seconds. <laughs> no, not in hockey. What a legend. No, but, but dude, I, I was going to say though, yeah. speaking of playoff performances of Ovi across, though, that 09, was it 09 game where they had dueling hat tricks? Oh, like, yeah, yeah. Still one of that the greatest is, games. Like That must be one of the greatest games of all time. It was crazy. And I can't believe Crosby scored at the end with that fucking, like, it was like a high, <laughs> you know, not high stick, but like a little, oh, it was just, oh, come on. The way you act that out. Uh, oh, my God. So, anyways. But yeah, um, but yeah, so yeah. <clears throat> Carl Alsner was not the, yeah, was Carl not the Arl- Alsner, and then he got like, kind of disappeared after he got his big money mm. and then he kind of dipped like a lot of people mm-hmm. in free agency sorry but- that's my trauma talking my <laughs> Canucks trauma <laughs> um yeah people don't know i'm a Canucks fan mm-hmm. oh, oh, like oh there you time. go yeah well, are you a Canucks fan you always shit on them what do you mean <laughs> it's what? always it was so funny because growing up though i feel like obviously we were both Canucks fans obviously like we, i mean we live in the vancouver area like we we yeah. watch a lot of we don't watch hockey for a long time but like you always took the side of the leaves whenever we were always like and i think it was kind of trolling you're always trolling obviously but like <laughs> you, this that. guy wore a leaves hat around town all the time and i bought one like last That's year a, yeah, i was like, like eight like, bucks so i was like, like damn what, what is good this guy deal. doing like <laughs> i mean you like the panthers no 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 no. Yeah. the capitals the capitals yeah it's like yeah. the same thing fair it's like i don't like for the leaves my greatest moment as a Leaf, mm. my, my happiest moment as a Leaf was when I don't bet anymore, but that year was like COVID, so I was going to board. Mm. So it was like game seven. Mm. I bet on the Montreal, Cano- um, <laughs> <laughs> Montreal Canucks. Yeah, the Montreal Canadians to win. Yeah. <laughs> win for game seven. Nice. And I'm watching Steve Dangle's live uh, oh, broadcast. Oh, <laughs> so Lord. as I'm making money, Steve Dangle is so angry. And I was just laughing my ass. Melting. Melting yeah. to the screen. Yeah, 
and that's the that's the thing about like me it's just like because as Canucks fans we have nothing to cheer for mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I take a lot of happiness in seeing other people listen it really this year too like specifically like I mean Florida was about to leave us in this like sad boy team era like you know what I mean they were about oh, to win yeah, their, yeah, their yeah, yeah. and a part of me yeah. was like you can't leave <laughs> you know like, yeah, you know the comments you got, you on Twitter leave. and everyone's oh. gonna be like Buffalo and Canucks and I mean. like, Seattle you can't leave us okay like St. Louis already left us a couple years ago you can't leave us yeah man. Like, you'd rather have Vegas win that instead of Florida because they've just been in longer listen listen <laughs> you know you um know. yeah but what happened after that then? So you had the free agency video? Uh, yeah, free agency. And then I think every video, I was like, okay, let's try to make this better. And I try to do more edits, try to put in subtitles, like make every video better and better and better. And then I kind of picked up on the PK Subban video. Okay, yeah. And I really like that one. Yeah. I really like that one because I loved PK Subban back yeah, in the day. Of course. And I thought he was just so disrespected by Montreal. I just wanted to get the truth out there. So yeah, that really blew up. And then I kept working and then in the middle of it, I realized that to make a video, I had to like edit like three days straight with nonstop pretty much. And then there was this one time where I would be editing, but I didn't, I had like two hours of sleep for like 48 hours. Mm. And then my head like was spinning. (laughs) It felt like I was on a Ferris, like a amusement park ride. Right. Like those teacup rides. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. In my own room. And oh, I had, that's when like I really had to sleep. But yeah. that's like the amount of effort I was putting in the videos. Yeah. And it really burnt me out. Yeah. <clears throat> I got really burnt out. And my favorite part was posting the video. Right. And seeing the comments. Mm. That was my favorite part. I could do that all day. Mm-hmm. But just like sitting alone, just like grinding those videos out. Like, like 10 seconds you see there is probably like a good... S- more than three hours of work wow. just because I had a script. Right. I was recording everything, editing, and I was like, I would go back and delete everything because I didn't like it. <laughs> I was like being a perfectionist about it. For sure. So I just got burnt out. And especially when... Solo too. Everything yeah, solo. Yeah. Solo. And then I think the nail in the coffin was when the NHL copyrighted all my videos. So... Boo. And I was kind of expecting it too, but... For the, sure. The theory doesn't make sense, yeah. like business wise. Right. But But also wait, but how was like Mike able to like what was the guy? Sorry, Mike. Or Zemba? Yeah. Like what was it? Um the NBA has like this third party company with YouTube and then the NBA. Oh, okay. So they have some sort of like yeah. agreement or so partnership. What they do is I think they buy <clears throat> they, maybe they I think they borrow footage from the NBA and then they let the YouTubers use that footage so they can share the profit from yeah, youtube take a cut or the content creator and broadband tv okay the nhl doesn't have that dispute it no mm. yeah and i would dispute it a lot i would right. be like hey nhl like come on like we're trying to grow the game right. and i look at the nba they're like marketable and we're nothing mm-hmm. like nope it hasn't been rejected garbage so what's the point yeah what's the point it's just like the there was like this um career ending injuries i think right I got like, I don't know, three plus million views. Wow. I didn't probably got like less than ten dollars yeah. off of it. <laughs> and how uh, and for how much work? I mean like and like not that everything is about money, but like when you're putting that much effort into something, like you you need to be rewarded in some fashion. Yeah. Like you need to and you know and especially if that's taking that much time out of your day, like yeah. You gotta work. You still yeah. gotta, you still exactly. gotta do other stuff, right? And I was like I was kind of in the middle of like, okay, like I have a big hill to climb with school, but I'm not making money right now. Right. I have this great thing, but it's going nowhere Mm -hmm. right i can't do this Mm -hmm. for the rest of my life so what i had to do was i had to go back to school and kind of make my life stable Mm -hmm. like i wanted to pursue like get my degree get a job and then go from there and then that just became my life objective yeah and youtube kind of just like fell below that objective and what what time what time are we thinking now it was like 20 because you started back in 2016 you said 2017 i started and then 20 18 i went yeah, back to school so you went like a year so that break year basically yeah so there was this moment where i was doing both but i couldn't do both at the same time because one more fail one more d right would have been okay you're out of our program oh. and then i had no idea what i would have done from there right so that scared the hell out of me and i just had to stop focus everything on school and yeah and i was like very overweight too you remember mm. 
<laughs> yeah, you, you can't miss me. <laughs> yeah, I was very overweight too, so That's I just cool. there was a lot of things I wanted to work on, like myself. You, sorry, you weren't that overweight compared to like like people are gonna be thinking like you were obese, like huge, oh, but yeah, like yeah, yeah, compared yeah. to yeah. what you were, like you had blown up for sure. Yeah. yeah like that, that's <laughs> oh, thanks, that's Chris. <laughs> <laughs> with love, with love, you look much better now. You oh, thank you, thank now, you. But... Yeah, yeah, like um, it was pretty bad, like for my standard, mm-hmm. for my standard. Yeah, exactly. So I just had a lot of things to focus on, and then yeah, YouTube just wasn't there, just because it wasn't bringing back anything. Yeah, yeah, not bringing back anything. Like obviously, I had a lot of people that really supported my For channel, sure. which I re- really loved. Yeah. But at the end of the day, those videos, NHL could take it down tomorrow, right? right? And I have no control over that. And I was like, why would I make this and invest my life into this when it's not mine, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. It's like, yeah, I'm trying to think of a good metaphor metaphor yeah do you have one for that situation oh, yeah. <laughs> well, no, i mean i think it's just as clear as you wrote it okay. is it's literally just like it's bs like you you because i know you're the man of metaphors <laughs> really maybe not good ones but <laughs> no at the end of the day like it's like you're trying to break rock with this you know with, with <laughs> stone. <laughs> like, it's just, break rock with a stone it's never gonna happen like it's just like or it's gonna take forever like you're not you're not gonna get anything out of it it's just you know, a waste of time, energy, unfortunately. And it's not even like in this era too where you could have potentially made like a Patreon or something or like... I tried that. Oh, did you at the time yeah, then I too, tried eh? that. But not really. I mean, it's, it's it's tough though. Like to get a whole like audience to move and pay yeah, now. To, yeah. Yeah, it's just a whole different level. And, but. and the, I, I don't really like the idea of like, hey, can you support by... Um, yeah, right? It's just right. like... I'm already thankful enough for people to even like, like in comments, spend right? the time to watch. Yeah, exactly. It. Spending yeah. like, that's like more valuable than like five bucks. They're going to send sure, anyways. Sure. So I didn't really push that too much. I just had like, I just tried it. Didn't work. I was like, okay, well this isn't it. Yeah. What else can I do? And I just couldn't think of anything else. And you had bigger priorities. To focus yeah. On. Bigger priorities for sure. Mm-hmm. Cause, and I'm glad I took this route. Cause I hadn't, I don't know what I would be doing. Well, yeah. Fast forward to yeah, fast forward to now. Six I years. graduated. Yeah. I retook six courses. Damn. There was this uh, there was this course um I had failed two times so I had to take it the third time <laughs> so Same professor every time <laughs> <laughs> no oh. but there is there is kind of a story but <clears throat> oh, no. but I had to go to like the department head I had to write a letter of why uh, I want to take it three times yeah. and she had to sign it it was kind of embarrassing but For sure. I just when I think like if you're able to kind of overcome that embarrassment, then you're already like your mindset's already there. For right? sure. So yeah. Something that I had to redo this um, other course. But anyways, where are we with the channel? <laughs> yeah, sorry. Yeah. So so that's why you stopped, and now I stopped. six years later. Six years later, you have a job. So you graduated with a degree. Um, yeah. You have a job. Yeah. Making money. Yeah. Um. Now I'm kind of my point in life right now is like I'm just doing a nine to five job right. right and then i reached my goal so you're my oh, a milestone a i'm milestone. i reached my economical milestone okay yeah but there's that passion aspect of myself that i want to continue to pursue mm-hmm. that makes you fulfilled right so the creativity because my job my current job has no creativity right ish right so i want to fulfill that part of myself with this channel mm-hmm. right just be creative. And then I noticed that like I've been working for probably three years now at my jobs mm-hmm. that's related to my bachelor. Mm-hmm. And out of the three years, I don't remember a lot. Oh, God. I remember like, so I remember like moments, but I don't have that, that many memories. No. Like I'm just making money doing the same thing. Yeah. I'm just, working like socialize and meet some friends and that's it yeah right and then time just goes fast so much and i just want to make this kind of creative projects to keep myself alive yeah for sure and while working at the same time yeah i think that's one of the reasons why when you brought up that you want to do a podcast with Mm -hmm, me mm -hmm. and i already had that in my mind right and i was like yeah you know what the stars are lining up it makes sense yep it made sense and then the day that we officially like agreed on everything mm-hmm. smosh bought their channel back <laughs> it was- <laughs> it's crazy how that really does happen like that like yeah it really was like the stars aligning it really everything yeah. just fit 
yeah the puzzle pieces really fit yeah like you wanted to, you have a lot of passion for making videos as well because you used to make videos too <laughs> and i, I saw them i saw I them. they're good yeah listen i loved hawk i it's canuckle head 40 <laughs> <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> yeah blow those videos up. they're sold they're sold no but like yeah. well speaking of you talking about like the, the mike I, I, sorry i keep butchering his name but that content creator that you were watching yeah Corzemba. similarly that a lot of the videos that I spent time watching on YouTube were montages, like highlight montages. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. With I music. Yeah. With music yeah. and just like, I Warm ups. loved it. Literally yeah. all these cool different like, you know, and I guess like ideally I really wanted to become like, you know, when you go into an arena and you watch like those pregame, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I would love to make yeah. those kinds of videos yeah, and yeah. stuff. Your videos are exactly that. Yeah, they're pretty well made. Yeah. So quality wise, eh, but yeah, I think. <laughs> Quality's not your fault. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it's the, the timing of the right. clips. The music. And it was the thing was it was so. It, you're right. No, I mean different kind of editing, obviously, because you had a script and everything for your videos. But it took a long time. Yeah. Not only gathering all the fucking clips, but now yeah. you know finding which exact moment from the clip I'm going to use, yeah. like which angle, like all these things. It definitely yeah. took a lot of time, but I loved it. Yeah. It really was fun. Yeah, it really was a good time, man. Like, yeah, I remember when I made my videos. Like each three seconds i wanted to mean something where i'm what i'm talking about right yes i didn't want to just put random clips in because it's not very entertaining or even like exactly or when a song has a specific lyric that yeah. might match like a play like a yeah, yeah exactly or something. exactly like, you gotta exactly. be thinking about those things now oh, that's dope yeah like um you know that song like 10 percent luck and kind of right. stuff like that's when you oh, put like the geez, luck song. yeah you uh, that's when you put the luck clip in <laughs> the basketball <laughs> this and hockey thinking. this man that'd be thinking. a sick montage right. right dude that song i think like that song, and then here comes the boom. Right? Like yeah, those, yeah. <laughs> those songs are like, oh, what yeah. era was that? That was literally like. That was art when we were pretty young. That was like 2009, like 2010, 11, 12. Oh, wow. Yeah. The good old years. Yeah. And um, yeah, I guess I should introduce you too. Oh, uh, yeah. This is. For sure. So, what's interesting about you and mm. my channel mm. is that in the beginning, I wanted to sound very friendly and like not, not be like. And Ovechkin had 30 goals. Right, right, right. I didn't want to be that, right? The golf, the golf report. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <Navio Par. laughs> yeah, I didn't want to be that. So what I did was I actually got your photo, oh. put it right beside my computer. Yo, that's fucking, <laughs> yo, what the, f wait, 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 wait. So wait, wait, we're talking, we're talking the Canadian jog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. wow. When okay. I was making my videos, your that's photo good. was right beside my computer. Wow. And as I was saying the script, I would act as if I'm talking to you. You know what's crazy? What? That kind of makes me feel a little bit like it's like you once again the start. That's fucking weird. That <laughs> is weird. Also, that's dope. Like yeah. that is so cool. I just thought about it today, actually. Wow. So it was meant to be. <laughs> Maybe we'll see. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. But okay, so that's cool. So yeah, you did but that. yeah, that's like I guess your first contribution. Yeah, without even channel? knowing. Yeah, without, that's dope. So, why don't you? introduce yourself to everyone wow this is this feels like you know this feels like have the mic this feels like the first day you know in school when you have to do like those cold intros you have to say like one cool fact about yourself <laughs> yeah, tell me a cool fact about yourself chris um this is the fact i said in every single <laughs> is it class lame? you i don't you you definitely know you definitely know it okay. i don't think it's that lame though because okay. no one can ever guess it where was i where do you think i was born that's what, what I, I, I always say. That. Right, that's what I was yeah. saying. No one can ever guess. And I'm not going to say it either because we'll save it for a surprise or something. I don't know. But like, <laughs> not that it's a big deal. But literally, people will guess a million different countries and they can never get it. You know what well, I mean? What are their reactions when they hear it? Oh, what? <laughs> Why are you here? That's, that's literally what I get every single time. I mean, hey, what do you I, say to that? Well, I, I, had, I had no control. My parents were bouncing around and stuff. But, <laughs> you know, we eventually settled down in Vancouver. And yeah. uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, what, what I mean... I guess the way to introduce myself here would just to talk about how we met and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah. And like way back in grade five, six or seven, I think like we, we linked up somehow and I think we just, I think we really got close. Obviously our love of hockey, our love of sports in yeah. general, but we That's used to love. play street hockey all the time. I feel yeah. like, right. It was like, it was, it was such a terrible day when it rained because oh, we couldn't play street hockey. The worst. Because yeah. like, we would come home from school yeah. and it'd literally be like, okay, I'm going outside now. Yeah. You grab your hockey stick. You, yeah. you know, we, we, we use tennis balls. Yeah. Which Thank I always, God. <laughs> yeah. Because we didn't wear no, we didn't have cups or anything like no, that. No, no, no. No, no, no. We barely played with a helmet when we first started. Yeah, we didn't have money for a helmet. Yeah. What are you talking about? Dude, our, <laughs> when, when I think back to our goalie, dude, do you remember our goalie equipment? It would be like the baseball glove. Yeah. yeah. It, it has to be the baseball glove. Um, I think we did have a goalie. Do you? Oh my God! I'm thinking. 
was it with you that we went to that garage sale and we yeah, bought yeah, those? Yeah, yeah. Bought legit dude. ice hockey pads. Old, old ass yeah. ice hockey pads that we started using on the cement yeah. as road hockey and pads. And everything was just ripping apart. Our everything block was, was ripped. But that, honestly, I those were the best memories. Yeah. Like One of my best memories playing that is when it was warm up. I was goalie, so we had to change. So you went in net, right? So you had to warm up, right? right. So this guy our friend named trent he yeah. gave me a one-timer yeah pass yeah they shot it right at your nuts <laughs> <laughs> just comedy everyone just dies laughing while i'm suffering in pain and it's so funny because like that was probably your third shot <laughs> just and warming then, up oh, those really hurt oh dude and it's like it's and weird dude, trent had a hard slap shot no i shot it oh you shot I it, shot oh, it. Okay, he well, gave me the pass oh then why was i reacting <laughs> i don't know i was kind of surprised <laughs> i was like you're happy that you shot your nuts cool <laughs> no 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 yeah, but like, um, <clears throat> tell us more. But yeah, more. so yeah, I mean, yeah, so we grew up playing street hockey all the time. Even in, like, well, in, I, into the beginning years of our high school, I'd say for sure, we were still playing a lot of street hockey. Yeah, and then, yeah. And then it kind of eased out. We, we kind of got into different things. Why did, we, why did it ease out? I, I, I think, think we I just got a little older. Right. You know, like, less, like, because it wasn't just us playing, oh, too. Oh, no. What we had was we had, like, extracurricular activities right. and stuff. Like, you had rugby, I had basketball, right. like jazz band. Exactly. We got so. into relationships. <laughs> like, thing, thing, you know, things, things. We finally stopped playing with each other and we finally started playing with other people. Okay. That's basically what happened. Um, but, yeah, like, I, and, but through the years, I mean, this is way back. We graduated way back in, I mean, it sounds old now, but, like, we graduated back in 2014, right? So, it's almost 10, 10, nine, 10 years ago now. Yeah, nine years. Um, but even over those years that we've always maintained contact, like I moved country, oh, wait, wait, out of the country yeah. for a year, still came back. We kept in contact. Like yeah. we always, you know, we always hang out, talk about hockey, talk about life. Yeah. Um, and we always have such great conversations. Like I, I genuinely do mm-hmm. like feel like, like a lot of our friend group, but us especially, like we can just hang out for hours and just chat. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so, yeah, but, like much. we talk about like, things yeah i find right like yeah. things that interest you or you know yeah talk about how we talked about ai and stuff right yeah. and how it's i mean that's a whole we'll get into that but it's, it's funny um i was listening to a lex freeman podcast thank you about ai I was okay like, it's perfect yeah. i saw like 10 minutes <laughs> <laughs> this guy's a lex hater <laughs> and granted i understand everyone even at my workplace i'm mentioning like yeah listen to like lex freeman he's like why are you listening to that piece of shit <laughs> he's like yeah god i mean what else to say like what am I doing? I mean, I'm also working. I'm working two. I it's I, I shouldn't say I'm working two jobs. I'm basically working like two part time ish jobs right now, mm-hmm. right, day and night. Yeah. Um, it's expensive out there. It's a tough world. We live yeah. in an expensive city. Yeah. Trying to make you know, trying to make things work. Trying yeah. to save up for the future too. Like. Yeah. That's uh, my day job. Was, uh, like the the job I work in the daytime was asking me like you know why are you working these long hours? Well, I could survive off that one job, but like. I wouldn't be, I'm not building myself to anything if I'm doing that. Like, mm-hmm. I'm I'm able to work. What do I do? Just sit at home doing nothing all day? Like, yeah. What's going on? No, it's so. a good mindset. Right? It's a good mindset. But, I mean, speaking to your creative to your creativity point, I mean, I've been, I also have a lot of different creative projects I've been working on for over mm-hmm. the years. Yeah. And, right? Different, different, like, love writing, love, love obviously making those videos, like, all these different things. And even actually, like, yeah, like, having a podcast is always in the back of my head right yeah You're like always always wanted to do it always wanted to talk it's never a good outlet. angle oh it's such a good outlet yeah. right and just it's rant. such a good time it is it is it's just like we could just just like i mean talk shit might be the wrong word but yeah we just like, just <laughs> we just get to talk and it's just Fuck great you, <laughs> yeah, literally, like, show me this motherfucker right now. <laughs> so going forward what can people expect from the channel mm, yes um I'm not going to rule anything out, mm. but at the moment, we'll do podcasts for yeah. now. Yeah, absolutely. And then what I want, like a goal of mine is to, like, a long time ago, I had videos where I would post and then six months later, I'd post again, eight months later, I'd post oh, again, right? right, right, right. And it was so random. I kind of really felt bad about it. So my goal is to have a podcast per week. Yeah. That is my goal. Yeah. Um, And we just talk about hockey. What Like we literally just talk about whatever we want. Right what we would have talked about right. if we were, if it was just us two, right? Mm-hmm. I'll talk about hockey, life, relationships. Maybe people can send us some comments Love about that. like questions about their life, like of what course. should I do? Um, we could talk about hockey, how Bedard went to Chicago. God, yeah. Draft us tonight. Yeah. I didn't watch him get drafted. Only I him. I did. And I was you know, too salty. <laughs> you know what though? He, so he, he, he had an interview, right? Like yeah. after the draft And like, he's from Vancouver, right? Like yeah. I'm sure like, like there's a part of him, I hope at least that's just like, man, 
I mean, here, here's the thing. It doesn't matter. He's a millionaire now. He's going to be a superstar in Chicago. He's going to kill it. I hope he does, actually, even though I hate Chicago. I hope he does, but there's got to be a part of him that's a little bit conflicted, no? <laughs> Maybe not. I would have been conflicted if I went to, like, Arizona. Really? Or Columbus. I mean, or Calgary. I, just the just the, the perception of the team, just the, the state of the team, just the... I think so. Yeah. It's like, where are they going? Yeah. What's going on here? I mean, hey, Columbus just got Fantilli. So, I mean, they're looking, I mean, he, 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 who else do they have? They got um, Goudreau, Goudreau, Fantilli, Line. Line is still there, right? Yeah. <laughs> you know what's so funny? They just got Provorov, too. Sorry. But. Yeah. The anti gay. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's a whole thing. I mean, uh, <laughs> yeah, we could, like, those are the things we could talk about. Right, right. right. Um, but I think if people are expecting, like, very high analysis, we're not that channel. Unfortunately, yeah. If you want high hockey analysis, there's a lot of good hockey channels like right. Steve Dangle. Right. There's like say Harrison Price. Like breakdowns of games like, and stuff. Like and, actual yeah. reporters. Right. 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 Like Lex. No. No. Not Lex. Lex, Lex no. no Elliot Freeman. <laughs> Elliot. Like Freeman. they're like insider pocket. Like right. we're not obviously that. No. We're just two guys just talking about whatever yeah. we want. Right. Because oh yeah, you're framing this because yeah, like your your channel originally was like these in depth looks into like these. No. My 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 channel is not in. I thought it was. You put Dude, a lot all, of research all, into it and stuff. I mean, all it was is like Ovechkin at thirty goals in twenty. 22 yeah but still like but i see what you mean it was more like digging up dirt for sure for sure for I, sure. the thing about that is like um like the pk no there was this uh patrick line video with the Fortnite, mm. and i didn't feel too good like posting it right. just because like his account is public right so it's fair right, right. but it's still like i'm kind of like saying Oh, you played this many hours Directing of video games. Directing that kind of attention. To, yeah, yeah, so I kind of felt bad in a way. So I was like, ah, uh, it does get views, but is this what I want to do? Pretty funny though, but... <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what? You know what's funny though? Uh. Like The reason why I made that video was because I had Lion A on my fantasy team. And he was <laughs> I got <not> so <laughs> salty. I was like, you know what? I need I, to... I, I can expose so this guy. Yeah. <laughs> God. What's well, the most... Wait, wait, I think I mentioned it to you before too, right? Like Kyler Murray. Uh, Who's that? The, oh, he's the, the quarterback, quarterback on the Cardinals. Yeah. Um, but uh, when uh, the new Call of Duty was coming out, his his play like statistically dropped heavily. Like yeah. the week it was coming yeah. out, and it it like totally makes sense. It totally, dude. Yeah, yeah. dude Liney used to. Do you remember? He used to buy TVs and con- <laughs> like Xbox controllers, like city to city. That's crazy. Road trips. He just needed to play it. And the video is so old that back then, legitimately did not know if Matthews or Liney was better. Right. Back then, yes, it was like that battle. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Liney, I haven't heard his name in a long time. Really fell off, unfortunately. There was some dirt in Winnipeg, for sure. Yeah. Liney with Wheeler, Wheeler and yeah, Shifley. No. Dude, fuck that group. They're, they're imploding <laughs> right now. Dude, I always <laughs> felt like Blake Wheeler. Why do you always... not like teams a lot? You just hate teams. No, I don't hate teams necessarily. I just like, like, I hate like that Blake Wheeler kind of energy. Oh, the like, old school? Like, yeah, like the, the Don f- Cherry energy? You, Bobo. It's just, yeah. Yeah, okay, now you're mentioning Don Cherry. Okay, no. <laughs> yeah, your favorite person <laughs> no, in the world. Don Cherry, no. <laughs> no, it's just like, dude, get out of here. Like, if you had actually given him an environment to like grow into the superstar that he could have been. Liney? Yeah, but like people, the old school people would be like, oh, he never deserved it or he never earned it or blah, blah, blah. It's like, dude, go fuck yourself, okay? Just because we're in a bit of a different generation doesn't mean like... Just because he doesn't conform to your way of playing or your way of what, it, it doesn't mean he's a bad hockey player. Give yeah. him a chance. And Grant, and dude, he did pop off at the beginning. He did. He got 40 goals first season. What do you mean? Yeah. yeah. Something did not go right, obviously. It's probably an uncomfortable locker room. But why is he not excelling in Columbus then? But the thing is, when someone's confidence gets shattered too, though, yeah. it's hard to bring it back. It really is. It takes a lot of yeah. self growth. I wonder if you saw my video. <laughs> I mean,. <laughs> I, there, here's the thing even if he probably never came across it like one person in his circle oh, someone in his yeah, circle yeah, definitely yeah, yeah. came across it yeah either mentioned I don't feel too good about or, that honestly even I, though he's like it's a double edged sword it's a double edged sword yeah it's not like you're fucking TMZ or anything like that like following <laughs> like, them to their house or anything like that like <laughs> yeah I mean uh, I was just working with things that were online right, available right right and they're legit like he had his actual account and can you really feel bad for pointing something out about someone like it's i don't know it's kind of just like you're you're only mad that we're exposing it you know what i mean it's kind of like you're doing it still that's the not yeah. play not that playing video games is necessarily bad but if it's no. starting to compromise it's um other aspects yeah. of your life 
I still won that fantasy year, but <laughs> you know if, that's way more important than Lion's career. If this Chris. guy, if if you guys ever play fantasy hockey with this guy, just like just know, he is the absolute worst person to have in your <laughs> league. Like he is the absolute worst person. Not like listen. Nick truly, I feel like, is very well versed and very well like educated in terms of like fantasy hockey, like which players I draft, I win every year. based on categories, all this. But one thing that you'll know if you ever play with Nick <laughs> is that you'll be sitting at home at two thirty, coming home from a long bar shift. You know what I mean? Tired. All you're wanting is some nice peace and quiet, and then you'll get a hey, McDavid for <laughs> for fucking like I don't even know like. <laughs> fucking jason magna or something like that it's jason like bro like what are you talking about michael Chapu? like it's like you'll get the most ludicrous trades at the most ludicrous times and then it's consistent and that's his strategy because eventually you're just like okay go fuck yourself here i'll just say yes and then you end up ruining your whole entire league like we did that one year <laughs> yeah yeah they kind of imploded yeah oh that, that, yeah like well. that submarine oh god wow that is quite soon but quite true <laughs> it is uh Imagine like the vape. Oh god, that that's a whole different. The vape? No, the vapor. Like, like how they were just like instantly vaporized oh, yeah, yeah. by the heat and the pressure yeah. down there. There is no heat. The Im- the implosion, that energy, the the energy that's created, really is heat. Really? Is it not? They literally <laughs> got vaporized. Like and like. I thought it was the pressure of the ocean just like squishing them. Right, but that pressure, that energy, like when it goes, that energy that gets really? released, that's energy, that's heat. Is all energy heat? Is it not? Not necessarily. Oh, this this just goes to show that this is were... not a deep analysis <laughs> channel. <laughs> so, <at all>. I... <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure energy. Yeah, energy is literally heat. When I punch you, yeah, is my face making heat on your face? First of all, your energy. face is not punching my face. You at all? Like if if Jonathan Taves hit Henrik Sedin. Yeah, but the bruising is heat. Like you don't. If you what? punch me, yeah. that en- that area is a little no. hotter than... No, no, no. What are you talking no, about? This is literally... Let me punch you right now. <laughs> Tell me <laughs> if it gets hotter or not. So, this is not a analysis channel. <laughs> <laughs> but we do we do some research. We research, do some research. Research is a stretch. We, we look do, up... We look up stuff. Yeah. Just so that we're not 100% bullshit. Right. A little bit of backing up. You still need a grain of salt sometimes. Generally, we're 100% right. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Oh, Lord, yeah. No, <clears throat> like your Carl, Carl Alsner take, we'll soon find out that we are not. Yeah, that, that not that right. did not, there was other ones too in that video. I uh, totally forget. Oh, but man. Yeah. Well, I remember when Louis Erickson got signed. That's when I was in Korea. I was like, it was like 36, 2 a.m. I was up. I was like, who are we going to sign? Yeah. Louis Erickson. I was like, oh, okay. I could swallow it. I could swallow it. <laughs> you know, you know, he's a good player. Six years is a little long, but well, you know, I, I could swallow it. I can remember being excited though, only because of that Sadine Sadine Erickson connection that they promised <laughs> us. They promised and the us. world championship. They, they, they promised did, they us. They did have that. It just didn't work out. Listen, you know what hockey needs to bring back? Mm. The World Cup of Hockey. You like, see, I was so conflicted on the World Cup of Hockey when it when when I, it was played that I time. I hated it. Yeah. Because that's NHL saying no Olympics. Right. But they're not going to the Olympics. So, so they need just something. give us something. Yeah, please. Fair enough. I want to see Team USA beat Canada. And they will. As Canadians, I'm saying that Oh, they're so good. The US man. dominance so in hockey good. is so scary that like I and I think a lot of Canadians, unfortunately, are still in denial. Like You can't like, do you know name? The starting goaltender. For I was Canada. just gonna <laughs> ask you name the and I'm Tristan Jari. No I'm kidding. No, that's one. Carter Hart. That's two. That's pretty much one two. A B, A B starters. And that's crazy. USA from the top of my head. They have Demko and Hellebuck. Just this. I mean, already start. Hellebuck is like he's gonna be your starter, right? Who else yeah. is there? Demko. If I mean, if De- I mean, give Demko hot, hot Demko is something else. Yeah, exactly. Give give Demko the defense of what team the USA? No, 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 no. <laughs> the, what team USA would have? Yeah, the team he, USA. He'd the be crazy. Two Kachucks, two Hughes, Matthews, Goudreau. Oh, it's gonna be three Hugheses. Three Hugheses. It's gonna be right. They have um, I forgot. They had other big D's. What well, dude? Like literally, if you think, I'm pretty sure Wawenski is. Yeah, let's look. Uh, literally, look it up. Because, I mean, we... Oh God. 
Wow, we were all, we were really hyping them, and now we can't even talk to them. <laughs> no, <laughs> I just remember seeing the list. I was like, Canada's fucked. Okay, well, let's let's look up. Uh, you look up American. I'll look up Canadian. Okay, and let's try and do a comparison. We'll do like line by line. Oof. Oh, see, but these are these are just like these people's ideas. Like I have like Frank Saravelli's picks. Where's their defenseman though? Oh, okay, here we go. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, you ready? Who do you? I'm gonna go with off oh, Frank Saravelli. I feel like he's a reputable um, enough name. I'm gonna go with. Caleb Desjardins. Okay. I think, I don't know who he is. Okay. Go with the first line. Line number one. Matthew Kachuk, Austin Matthews, Johnny Goudreau. Now, sorry. Tell me when your list came out, though. It was 2022. Okay, mine was also 2022. So, because okay. things... And I, also, you got to remember, like, we talked about this to, like, today and previous drafts. A lot of USA players. Right. Right. Yeah. right. So a the, lot of USA players And even, the, like, the last year. Because I'm already looking at this list... And I really hope this isn't the first line for Team Canada. <laughs> really? But, oh, no. Because, well, I mean, okay, well, let's look at Frank Cerebelli's list. Okay, so on left wing, we have Jonathan Huberto. <laughs> we have <laughs> oh, Connor McDavid and Nathan McKinnon. Uh, Nathan, no, Nathan McKinnon um, as the first McDavid line. McDavid and McKinnon? McDavid and wow, McKinnon. Okay. Sorry, what Speed? was the USA one? I wasn't listening. Matthew Kachuk, Matthews, and Goudreau. Okay. So I think what I, from what I remember, Team Canada was very top-heavy. Right. And their defense was like, eh. In the World their Cup. Their goalies, eh. Right. Okay, second line. I'll go first this time. Jason Robertson. Crazy. Yeah, Asian American. He is crazy. Love I love it. Jack Eichel, Kyle Connor. <sighs> Kyle Connor too is a stud. Jack Eichel, Stanley Cup winner. <laughs> um, Jack Eichel, the Kevin Durant of yeah, hockey. Yeah. The traitor, not traitor. Listen, they he, wouldn't give him the surgery. A... <laughs> Let the man get his surgery, no? It was like not approved. It was like a new technique. Oh, well, apparently it worked because he know. just won a cup, bro. I don't have good thoughts about Jack Eichel just because he got like a few coaches fired. Mm, his attitude. I don't know. That's the vibe I get. Okay. But total outsider. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I don't no know. No analysis Jack. at all. No analysis. Okay. Well, that's a good second line. Okay. We got Nazem Kadri, nice. Braden Point, nice. and Stephen Camps. Uh, Stephen He's, okay. I that's mean, not a bad line. Point. Yeah. Point was drafted like eighth round last year in fantasy. Oh, gee, yeah. Wow. Yeah. For and Stamkos is getting right pretty now. old too. Do you think he can keep up with Eichel and Robertson? And I Cam- think so. Yeah? Okay. I think so, dude. Stamkos is still a legend. Okay. My third line. JT Miller. Okay. Oh. Yeah, that's, a, that's a good Jack line. Jack Hughes. Tage Thompson. T- Tage. I think, I think, now granted, this line's a little bit older. Okay. But I think this line dominates that line. No Bergeron problem. Bergeron Crosby? Yeah, so we're going with Marchand, Oof. Crosby, Bergeron. <laughs> Dude, that is... That line's demolishing. That's no, like I don't the think OG... So. F- I don't think what? so. What? Sidney Crosby's Did taking... Did Bergeron Jeff- retire? Did he just retire? That's what I, I mean, know. though. This list came out in 2022. I feel like this list would but, very dude, much change. He is not keeping up with Jack Hughes and JT Miller. Not even JT Miller. You could replace that with Jake Gensler or Cole Caulfield. All right, all right. Continue. Okay, fourth line. Brady Kachuk, mm. Zegris, mm. DeBrincat. Damn. And there's Beniers and Troy <coughs> Terry for like backup Patrick Kane. It's a very Cancel. interesting fourth line though. Like they're definitely just going for a skill based lineup. Yeah, that this guy is a definitely. fast team. It's man. a very very fast. I don't team. think Crosby can keep up, especially in this World Cup. I feel like the, the team Canada's fourth line is a bit more of a. It's, it's fourth like a wise. Okay, okay, okay. It's a bit more of a fourth liney. Okay. Ryan O'Reilly. Oh wow. Going to demolish the boards. Is he Robert Thomas, Anthony Sorelli. So it's like you know like. Team Canada has like it feels like they have a lot of injurable guys. Oh wow, yeah, Ryan O'Reilly. O'Reilly. Oh, and Tavares. Sorry, yeah, Tavares. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. Um, D. Yeah. I'll just go, I'll just name them all. Okay. Quinn Hughes. Sorry, yeah. Quinn Hughes. <coughs> Charlie McAvoy. Zach Wierenski. John Carlson. Oh. Slavin. Seth Jones. Oh wow, I love John Carlson. Goalies. Ottinger. Oh, Ottinger was good this year. <laughs> I, he was top five goalie this year. Jake Ottinger for me. I don't know why. Like it's because he, he had him in one fantasy year. You probably <laughs> just he just hasn't won me over yet. Spencer Knight is also American. Yeah, he still hasn't. I mean, Bob was still in the net this year. Yeah, like Spencer Knight kind of fell off a little bit. I don't this this uh, Canadian D. I thought was a lot worse. It doesn't look awful. Okay, maybe not the 2010 team that won, but like <laughs> you know, it's still Shea Theodore, Kale McCarr. Oh yeah, Devin Tays. Aaron Ekblad, Thomas Shabbat, 
Mackenzie okay. Weger. Okay. And Owen Power as the... Owen Power is Canadian? Apparently. Well, yeah. I thought it was American. <laughs> no, well, there you go. Owen Power. And Petrangelo is Canadian. Petrangelo too. is Korean. Or Canadian. <laughs> uh, Brent Burns, Alex Petrangelo. Yeah, Morgan Riley is an option. Wow, okay. Right? So there, there's, there's some names. Pretty decent. See, this is where it gets disgusting. Yeah, the goaltenders. The goaltenders. Tristan, is he, is Carter Hart's not even mentioned. Oh, wow. Tristan Jari, Darcy Kemper, <laughs> Mark andre Fleury. Yeah, no. Jordan Bennington could be an option. I could see. Oh, my God. Frank Sarabelli has Stuart Skinner here listed. Come on. This list is just <laughs> way too old now. Yeah, I mean, USA, I think, would definitely be Canada. Why do I feel like, though? They're just so much younger, too. I feel like there's definitely like changes on that team for sure. Yeah, like the U.S. was a wave, dude. Every year, how yeah. many U.S. national development team yeah. players get chosen? Literally, like... Uh, just to um, add on, the Canadian team doesn't have Bedard. Exactly. There you go. And That's what I'm saying. There's Fan- no, not Fantilli. Fantilli. Is he Canadian? Yeah, he's Canadian. And the next year's first row overall Vancouver boy is also Canadian. What's, what's his name? I forgot. Oh, man, really? Yeah. There's a- Vancouver's producing. they're all forwards. Yeah, of course. No yeah. goalies. Dude, Canadian cold. You remember like Luongo, Price, <laughs> like Pro-Dur. Pro-Dur. Oh, did you see Price today in the draft? Yeah. <laughs> uh, David. Uh. Oh man, uh. that's so relatable. Because one time in, uh, in in university, I had a presentation, mm. and I was just talking about something I didn't know about. I just like made everything like the night before, mm. and then as I'm talking, I see a guy right in front of me yawn, <laughs> and that was able to throw me off. And I was just standing there for like 30 seconds. <laughs> just lost. Yeah, just yeah. totally lost. Oh, just God. like Gary Price. Just like interesting how like even if you play in front of like tens of thousands of people every night, er- like everyone that, has... Oh, of course. They're human. Friend. They're human. Yeah, that's kind of cool. As superhuman as they may look sometimes. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> well, let's, let's think about this. Well, today's draft day. We, yeah. we, we caught kind of glimpses of it. Yeah. Um, we, I mean, we already talked about Bedard, unfortunately, going to Chicago, which is the biggest BS of all time. I was actually... I actually thought Bedard would come to Vancouver. Like do the, like pull the, the, uh, the Lindros lottery. and then just be like, was it Lindros? Do you or think the lottery is rigged? Because you remember that one year, the guy like picked up, like dropped a ball or right. something and there was a New York Listen. ball and they won left in year. Do I think it's rigged? A fucking course it's rigged, dude. It's really? a fucking business. No. And they want specific players to go to specific no. franchises. But what if you're the owner of Dallas Stars? And you know it's rigged, wouldn't that piss you off? Because you have to yeah, make money. Yeah, but you're a billionaire. Too. No, dude, yeah. billionaires don't think like that. Dude, dude, you're a billionaire. It's fine. And the thing is, maybe you know the owners what, don't know it's rigged. You know rigged. what billionaires want is mm. more billions of dollars. Exactly. So you don't want Bedard going to like Chicago just because they want. No, because they need fans to come back. Because <laughs> that team's trash. Who's who's gonna go to the, the United Center now? It's no, gonna be empty. I don't, I don't think they, they need think like the that. United Center to be popping. No, listen, genuinely, of course, I don't think it is, but... Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no okay. I, yeah, yeah, I don't think it is, but... No, I genuinely thought it was rigged mm. when McDavid didn't go to Toronto. The Toronto boy... Right, it Edmonton, only, yeah, yeah, it made sense. That was like, oh, it's, no, not rigged. Right, because why, why, why would he go to Edmonton? Yeah. Like, they are strong enough of a franchise that they don't need a superstar to go there. Yeah. Right? And yeah, and Matthew's there, going there, to Toronto. Yeah, like 30 first overall picks. Yeah. Why would you give... Yeah, exactly. Toronto could literally be the shittiest team for so long. And, and they fans were still, very shitty. Right. But this is before Austin Matthews. They'll still sell it. The it was perfect. Yeah, yeah. So... Right, so it didn't work out. So I was like, oh, it's not rigged. Gary is not rigging this. <laughs> it just so happens that we have incredible bad luck every single year. That's what it <laughs> yeah, is. Thanks, Edmonton. Thanks, Edmonton. But there was... there was. I was going to make a video about why <laughs> Edmonton got the first overall pick that year with McDavid. Okay. People are saying like, oh, it's because... Edmonton agreed with the NHL to trade away Wayne Gretzky to LA. Back in the day. Back in the day. So this was like their <laughs> deal. Return, yeah. Yeah, return. Well, how many years later? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> like, what? Yeah, different owner, I think, but... Fair enough. I was trying to like, okay, can I make this into a video? Like, <laughs> <laughs> Can I make this like conspiracy make sense? Like, no, it just doesn't make sense. It's not rigged. It wasn't rigged then. Mm-hmm. Who knows now, but I don't think, I don't think it makes sense to rig it for other owners. Wait, let me let me throw something else at you here. Yeah. I mean, you saw over the last couple of weeks, like the kind of the Calgary locker room kind of imploding a little bit. Oh, yeah, the, yeah. the crests all leave. And I don't know if you saw, but to fully got traded yeah. to the Devils and stuff. Yeah. And so, like, I don't know, like, I mean, number one, hilarious because it's Calgary. <laughs> like, it's just so <laughs> they, funny. They're not, it's, uh, their team's called the Calgary Canucks. <laughs> right. Well, yeah. I mean, like Markstrom, Tanev. <laughs> to Foley. To Foley. Well, yeah, exactly. But uh, it, 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 it really made me think, though, like, 
man, the Canucks don't do anything. Like, is that what PD and Hughes and them are all going to do? Like, they're mm-hmm. just going to collectively come together and just be like, guys, we're done. What we all want out. Like, I mean, it, it gave me some thought, a pause. I was like, oh shit. Like, even you last year, no, this year, we were on team rebuild with the Canucks. Right. No, we can't. No, we can't. No, that's going to, that's, we don't want to be Calgary. <clears throat> we can't because we don't know how. <laughs> and like, <laughs> and, and, and we're going to fuck it up anyways. And the thing is, what what made me realize oh my god what made me finally be done with the rebuild idea is that you go into a rebuild to find Hughes and Petey yeah yeah, like, yeah exactly and we have them so why Dude, are we going back to a rebuild that like, Hughes draft how it felt to us that's crazy number three cock yeah. <laughs> bust <laughs> well he's doing okay number in Carolina number six Philip Zidina uh, bust and that pick I thought was a great pick and yeah, I know. I, I was remember like, you. Yeah, I, I was, was like, Whoop. you wanted Zadina. I wanted Zadina. I did. Unfortunately, that just shows you how much we know it. Eh? Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, Quinn Hughes. But uh, that was hype. It, that was crazy because Detroit, like Hughes, is from Michigan too. Mm-hmm. He went to Michigan. It he's a sense. Michigan boy, American, and they didn't pick him. Wow. And we still can't do anything. Yeah. If, if I'm a hockey player, like 28, I'm at prime. I need to make my big bucks, right? I can't be like losing. I need to go to the playoffs, raise my value, yeah. get my money, and think about retirement, right? And is, kids. is realistically the most expensive city ever really the place you want to lo- keep losing in? Like, if anything, if you're going to keep losing, be in a, st- a city that you can just make all your money in. The PD, they're all suffering losses here for what? Cold, <laughs> rainy weather and w- one month of good summer when they're already back in Sweden training? Like, what? Wait, what do you mean? Like, they're like going to lose money like the housing stuff. prices? No, just like the taxes, like uh, everything that you pay over here. It's just like... Do they care about that? They have millions of dollars. Yeah, but every percentage gets higher. Like your money gets higher every percentage of income. You know, like your. That's true. You know yeah. what I mean? Like each percent counts. Yeah. Um. So I don't know. I mean, I. I you're right. I mean, it's just time. It's time for us to finally figure it out. We it's, drafted. Uh. We, we drafted to, Willinger yeah. today. Yeah, we need to roll with this. We need to go with it. We're, we're. We have to get back on. Everyone, get back on the train. Because if you want to rebuild, PD and Hughes is not yeah, staying. They're not, not staying. staying, guys. They're. They're. Of co- why would they? I wouldn't want them to. <laughs> and we're Canucks fans. And I, yeah, I wouldn't want... Uh, go win a cup and make us yeah. feel even worse about ourselves. Yeah. But you know what? Can I take us to one thing that I was looking up here? Because yeah. speaking you can of... Tell me for free. Well, yeah, <laughs> speaking of draft history... Oh, God. It's just... It, it, we've already kind of touched on it a little bit, but I was going back the last 10 years. Sorry. No, um, I just wanted to mention that today we're going to talk about the Canucks, <clears throat> but... We're, we're not, not always going to talk yeah, about Yeah, we're not going to Canucks no, 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 podcast. Me, no, we're not. We're going to talk about everything. So in the comments leave what you want us to talk oh, about there you go and then like the comment please there you go wow this guy knows what he's doing um <laughs> i was going back right before you came here actually um and i was just looking back the last 10 years and i was kind of originally looking for like oh just my gen- god <laughs> <laughs> just just, ge- just general steals whatever word. but then i specifically started zoning in on the canucks and oh, yeah. i was gonna just make a whole list but i just i focused on two specific drafts okay one we already know, and one we're already going to talk about. Okay, let me guess the drafts. 2016 yeah. you want to talk about. Yes, of course. In 2014? And yes, you oh know exactly my God. why. But let's go into it, because I didn't realize <laughs> the later ones of these two. Okay, so 2014. We already know. The first Yeah, over, we drafted you know, William Nylander. We, 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 I wish we did. And then Toronto Ehlers, picked Jacob 10. Or Ehlers. Ehlers. I, I would have picked either of them over what we ended up picking. Who was that? Like back in the day? The hometown boy? Like, uh, we're talking right now or back in the day? Well, I mean, right now, obviously. But even back, back in, in the, the day, day I feel like Ehlers was also highly touted. Back in the day, I remember because he's a local boy yeah. and he's top 10. I was, <laughs> and he's big. He's fast. And he was fast. Yeah. Oh, man. This this is... And like back then, Canucks were like soft, right? right. This, this is perfect. This is our Brad Marchand. Dude. It, the, it was perfect. Jake Vertanen is just a heavier Mason Raymond. Like all back he did, no, did even does. But sure, I get Mason it. Mason like, Raymond was good until he broke his back. Until yeah, until fucking Boston yeah. broke his back from the back, and then nothing happened. Yeah, <laughs> the scenes probably got a penalty or something. <clears throat> Do you remember what happened at the end of that first round of 2014? Um, we had a, we had another pick. Oh, oh uh, yes, yes, yes. Um, and we had a great. We I thought it was a good pick. 2014. Yeah. Do you remember who it was? <laughs> Current wait, Seattle. Wait. Oh. Currency, oh yeah, current um, Seattle Kraken superstar McCann, yeah, Jared McCann, <laughs> Jared McCann, who was also a great pick at that pick. Yeah, but two well, things, two things with Jared McCann. Number one, we traded him, right? We did trade him, but number one, who did we pick? Who was the pick right after Jared McCann? Do you know? 
It's pasta. It was Mr. Yeah. Pasta. It was Mr. David no, I, Pasta. I, I remember looking at that. It'd be very salty. <laughs> Just being, and obviously hindsight's twenty twenty. Obviously, like all these examples, hindsight's twenty twenty. But if we had trapped a David Pasternak <laughs> at that time, oh, like I was just, you know what though? You know what'd been funny? We probably would have traded him just like we traded Jeremy McCann to fuck. Uh, we, for, I think we traded him to Florida for Eric for Eric Manson, and we gave up a second oh. round pick. Hey, Goody's worth it, man. Oh, shut <laughs> up! Big right hand defenseman, Canadian, rugged. I remember back then. I re- I was happy. Really? I'm always like. I'm I'm always like oh I Hopeful. because I don't know anything mm. I trust the GMs. It's like yeah I guess McCann's not not gonna pan out. And a second rounder you know if it's a goody second <laughs> round we'll take it and we need to win now. Yeah, and look how that happened. That was back in twenty what? Yeah, it must have been like twenty fifteen or sixteen we traded. Yeah, right? somewhere something like there, that. Yeah. <clears throat> but even in that same draft year, do you remember who we drafted in the third round? <sighs> and if he had panned out, would have been a staple on our decor. So he he played on the Canucks for a little bit. For a little and bit, and I think he was a cult legend. Cult legend. Cult. Cult Ooh. legend. Like 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 Canuck. Cult. Like he's just like a legend, dude. Magna. No no no. Shapu. <laughs> think. He doesn't like the smell of weed. What? Nikita Triamkin. Oh. Do you remember that? Nikita Triamkin. We drafted in the third round of that year. Oh, fuck Triamkin. <laughs> If fuck that Priyanka, guy man. literally could have been our Chara, like yeah. he was destined to be on our decor. I remember there was some like a few games he played in the NHL. He would like body check people. And it was huge. Was it the one he had a fight with Jamie Benn or something? And he was just like really? ragdolling. You don't oh remember that? Oh, he was God. literally ragdolling him. No, I was so excited when he came in. And then I was like, okay, just two years and he'll come back. <laughs> two years. <laughs> and he's gone. And then, yeah. Uh, last one from this draft. Do you think he's in the war? You think he's fighting? No. I no, don't no. Think so. I don't think. No, he's probably playing like professional. But they get the Russians get drafted <coughs> into the war. Oh, do they? Right, yes. but not hockey players, I guess. There must be some. And P- Putin played hockey, so he must have some like exemption list for hockey players or something. I don't know. Oh. Like, <laughs> yeah, the KHL needs to make money for exactly. The they need to generate something. Yeah, that's kind of fucked up. Last but not least from this draft, Forsling in the fifth. Uh, we gave up for a bag of pucks. Forsling. Wow, and I, I up, had him in fantasy this year. Yeah, I traded him away. He, he was a big part of the team. That he made was the PP pl- one. Yeah, PP. Um, <laughs> so that was that. That I was yeah. looking back at that draft. Obviously, I knew the Vertanen and McCann, yeah. but Triamkin and Forsling. I was like, man, if those yeah. players pan. And what do we need right now? Some well, di- some good D's. Twenty sixteen. We we know the the big one. Obviously, we picked our boy Oli Lovey when we could have had our boy Matthew Kachuk, who probably would have left just the way he left Calgary. Yeah. But but we would have had him for at least those years. <laughs> yeah, oh, you leave you feel bad. Just the injuries, back injuries. I really thought he was going to be our Matthias Oland. Like I re- Oland. I really you thought mean we got Christian this, like, Erhoff? No, What? Like, dude, the legend? Like, the one season wonder, like the 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 ten million dollar man. <laughs> um, the only thing I have left from that one, uh, third round. I, I never knew this. In 2016. In 2016, third we, round. We drafted Will Lockwood. Which is like whatever, yeah. like he never really panned out. You yeah. know who, who went two spots after? <sighs> Norris Trophy winner, <laughs> right handy, <laughs> right hand. Oh my god! At least I think no, yeah, he definitely won the Norris. What the Canucks would love to have, <clears throat> right up um, our alley, huh? Right up our alley. What team? What um, team drafted him? Uh, the uh, the blue, the blue shirts, the blue shirts, the Rangers. <laughs> the blue shirts should be jackets, blue jackets. Is that what they're called? Yeah. Pre- aren't the aren't the Rangers uniforms called the blue shirts or something like that? I, think I might be jackets. absolutely mixing sports here. Oh. Um, the Rangers, New York Rangers? Rangers. Um, so Calgary drafted him. Did he? Oh, oh yes, yeah, yes, sorry, you're Fox. absolutely right. He's playing for yes. Yeah, so if we Rangers. drafted him, he would have been like, "Yo, fuck Canada." <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're right. But still, I'm just saying, like, uh, moments in Canucks history were just, like, absolute... Like, we could have just avoided the mess that we've been in. Now, would a fan from another team be like, hey, that's us too? Absolutely. Yeah? Absolutely. I so was definitely just, honing in on Manx So we're just there, salty because we're a loser yes. team? We okay. just, we're just salty because we've never won. And we don't know what that feeling is. We and won during the COVID. No, no, no. The, the fact that you season. say that we won, <laughs> we won a <laughs> <Hey>. series. <laughs> we won... 
We beat Boston in 2011. Did you forget? You know, Nick, I really wish I could forget. Do you not remember when Henrik Sedin body checked Brad Marchand and broke his back? I just um, wish you guys could see me just like face in my hands, <laughs> like about to cry. That's called copium. <sighs> like I told you, it was my birthday. Yeah. Game yeah. seven was my birthday, man. That was your... Happy birthday, baby. Yeah. <laughs> God. Uh, what a depressing end to this. Well, let's liven it back up for a second here. Um, congratulations to Chicago on, <laughs> <laughs> on Connor Bedard. What do you think about that? Uh, um, I mean, no, I don't even go there. I was saying, what well, do you think about the? I was talking about Willinger, but I don't really know much about him to be honest with you. So his name's Wallinger. Is it Wallinger? I think it's Wallinger. I thought it was Willinger. I think it's Wallinger. Oh, God, I absolutely just butchered it for the last forty-five minutes, didn't I? He's a right-handed D. Yeah, it's important. He like, I don't know, man. Will Lander. Will Lander. Yeah. <laughs> we both absolutely. Butchered what did it. I say, Wallinger? I think you say Wallinger or something. Can I see his name? Tom Willinder. Scroll up a bit. Tom Willinder. Oh, wow. Dude. Okay. I don't know anything about this guy. Mm -hmm. I only know fan... Like, no. I only know Connor Bedard. Right. Mitchkov. Mitchkov, yeah. But when Willinder got drafted, he was walking down the stairs. Willinder? Yeah. Willinder. (laughs) You literally just read it. (laughs) <laughs> Willinder, like, Willinder. So when Willinder was walking to the podium after he got drafted, he had poise. Oh, okay. He wasn't even smiling. He was like, "Yep." Mm. He it reminded me of like William Nylander, mm. like swagger. So that's my. You're saying it's good news. That's my prospect analysis. I love it. I love it. His poise is 99 overall. I think he's our third Swede in a row. Really? In the first round, because we had we drafted the other. Oh, I could be wrong. Uh, what's his name? Um. Where is he even playing? Is he playing the SHL right now? We dropped. It was like the right hander. Uh, he plays. Oh man, the oh, winger. Uh, Letter Mackey. Letter Mackey. Yeah. Yes, thank you very much. Um, haven't really seen him yet, but yeah. like you know, we drafted him. Yeah. Well, I think there's someone else too, but yeah. No hopes at this point. We'll see. <laughs> we're just we're hurt. We're traumatized. Canucks fans. The Canucks must be one of the worst teams in the last decade of North American sports. Hands down. Decade? Yeah. Just take out that little blip where we you had can't that take success. That you can't take the, you can't take out a Stanley Cup though. I want to cry. <clears throat> no, we can't. You're right. We can't forget that we lifted the cup. And, and for every it. finals, there is a name going up into the rafters. Right. So. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we're such a star. Here's the thing. Just so you don't have to ever hear us talk about the Canucks again, please mention anything else that you want us to talk yeah, about yeah, yeah. so that we never have to live through this yeah. again. Because I would love to just go through the comments and look at what people want us to talk about mm-hmm. and then just like... Or they'll just say, just stop talking. No. They don't- <laughs> no. You can just leave. Yeah. It's fine. But it doesn't have to be hockey. Mm-hmm. What's, what's a random question that people can ask? What are your thoughts on the Black Mermaid... Dude, this, 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 right? oh, we're taking this we're taking this to the deep end right away i was thinking more like bidet question <laughs> like, you know, are no, bidets no. worth it no, I mean, are we, they, can are about, we can talk about those things too no, but he wants to talk about black ariel you know he wants to talk about uh i saw that movie oh did you it's very nice oh, not, very you, nice. who would you go see it with my sisters oh that's cute yeah that's they nice. paid for me because i didn't want to watch nice but yeah we could talk about those things talk about the war in ukraine oh yeah I mean, the whole, what is it, the coup that's happening right yeah, now? Yeah, the coup. In Russia. And we have, we actually, like, we've been practicing for a few months with podcasts, and yeah, we end up talking about history sometimes. Yeah. Like, you talk about Mr. H. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, I really didn't think he was going to make another appearance, <laughs> but I feel like he just makes an appearance every week now. <clears throat> Who's Mr. H? Oh, everyone knows Mr. H. <laughs> <laughs> it's the most famous man in the world. Um, yeah, like we 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 do we 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 bounce everywhere. I mean, and but this is the beauty. We kind of mentioned it before, but this is kind of like what we do when we just hang out normally, anyways. Yeah. Literally, our conversations go from yeah. anything to everything. Yeah. And we just decided to record it one day. Yeah. <laughs> and, exactly. And, uh, and now we we're decided here. to monetize our friendship. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Um. And 
both of us like to keep an open mind because mm-hmm. I feel like one of the problems these days is people thinking that they're right, right, which is fine, but there's always Listen, the other side. I'm going to say this right now to everyone listening and to everyone that's not listening. If you think that you know it all, you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> All right, just just know that. No, like everyone has to understand, we're all we all have faults. We all have whatevers. Yeah. No Einstein didn't know everything. No, and the beauty of that too, Einstein, right? It's like even when he was working on his theory and stuff, like mm. like he didn't necessarily even believe it in himself. Right, he thought right. it was all this crazy shit, whatever. But like, yeah. it gave the stepping stone to then you know build on that. And Yo, that is so much um, clout, I should say. Mm. Not not the right word, but like saying like, okay, this is what. I believe in this is all my evidence right and i want you to prove that i'm wrong <laughs> or right that's like scientific swagger right. yeah yeah that's the mindset that i love to mm-hmm. have like keep an open mind because even sure. me i have opinions but um they're usually not controversial i'd mm-hmm. say <laughs> <laughs> but i realize like, i try to listen to both sides i right. think that's the most important thing yes listen to both sides and one prediction i have for the future in 2024 mm. Donald Trump is going to be president. Wow, this man That's, is. It, he literally just admitted, wasn't it? Something about like him admitting to wanting to fuck his daughter. And what? Ivanka and having dreams about her or something like that. No, I don't know. I don't know. That's about your it. president. <laughs> <laughs> That's my president. <laughs> no, I just, I'm just saying this because Biden is such. Maybe we shouldn't talk about yeah, all this. Like, you're the one bringing this in right now. You're the one bringing no, this in. No, the only reason I say that because like the world right now is just like. There's so, there's a lot of things that are wrong, and just the like, timing itself. I think the Democrats are just kind of screwed, mm. just because of the timing, mm. inflation, war, just everything, just bad timing. So, all right, thanks Fox News. Uh, so, <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 but and you know, I'm probably wrong. <laughs> just, <laughs> We've been knowing. You know, we just know. say the most controversial we thing know. and just say at the end, and I could be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so you can't blame me for anything I say. What what kind of questions or comments you want to see mm. people asking? Because like politics is fun and all, but I like to talk about other things too. So, like, if you're gonna come at come to me for political advice, I'm just gonna tell you right now, I know nothing. Okay, okay. So so, but like, ask me anything because I, I want to learn too. That's a, that's a beauty. Like originally, like you know, like the beauty of the podcast and the beauty of like creating this kind of content is yeah. for us to also keep learning, right? Right, right, right. I'm not really here to teach anyone. What the, what the fuck do I know? But I'm here to learn. I'm yeah, here to, and we don't want to be a politics podcast no oh, i don't know no why you keep bringing way. it over there <laughs> like i don't <laughs> no, know <what. laughs> I, it's just something i thought of um we talk about current news as well sure yeah last time happening. we talked about the submarine right when they were lost right we talk about we can talk about like when the nhl had their whole fiasco with the pride jerseys where and all kind of other jerseys i mean they, they banned all of them like it's not like just what? The pride jerseys like like, like, the the indigenous wore, like the, yeah like exactly the indigenous why? which is you know what i mean well they did it all because they don't want to well, they the uh, here. Well, I mean, we're t- it's a touchy subject. I think it's because I mean, it's easier to sweep it under the rug than it is to just like, who cares if Pro Rob doesn't want to wear the jersey? What if eighteen of those members or teammates Why don't, don't want to do wear it? Because they're scared of the controversy. They're scared of the negative attention. Because yeah. all the news reports were, oh, Pro Rob missing warm up, or it's like, oh, like he's refusing to wear the jersey. Gary Bettman needs to go. Wow. I think it's time. Yeah. I loved him for a long time, but I think it's time. But who cares? Like, isn't that good if it makes controversy like that? Well, like, you would think so because like... It should be good for headlines, like for marketing. Right. Like, no one cares about hockey Literally in the US no pretty one much. Cares. It's so sad. No one cares. No you know You know what I miss about Nail Yakupov? Uh, <laughs> that wow. celebration. The, uh, and and guess, who, guess who hated on it? <laughs> guess who hated on it? Because I love that celebration too, actually. But. Our the, uh, hockey grandpa. Oh, our grandpa of hockey. No, exa- where is that in hockey? Like That's that's why I loved Ovi. Jumping into the fucking yeah. glass. Like, yeah. So hyped for every the goal. The thing with Ovi, though, like, he scored so many goals now. <laughs> it's kind of gone, but... Dude, the hot stick. Yeah, the hot stick. On. Yeah, He got a lot of... He, uh, so much hate that. for that. Yeah. And why? He was in the hot seat. Why? Because you can't do it? Because you suck? Shut up. That's a, <laughs> a lot of pent up years from yeah. everyone hating Ovechkin Listen. for 10 years. Um, if you want us to talk about certain topics that you want to hear us talk mm. about, it could be hockey. It could be about anything, life, maybe your troubles. Maybe we can put some insight. Mm-hmm. Give some perspective. Like online perspective, online counselors. Wow. Online Board. psychologists. That's a big statement. <laughs> that is a big statement. <laughs> um, Think of it like this. 
we're at a bar and you come sit beside us yeah and we're having a beer yeah and we're just chatting about life yeah and if you know if something cool happened in the hockey world yeah we'll talk about it yeah but if something cool happened in the rest of the world we'll talk about it yeah and i think we're gonna bring up like bring some stuff to talk about as well that sure. we find interesting that we want to share as mm-hmm. well and we also talk about like religion right. death right addiction and stuff yeah so and we'll touch on all those again yeah, It'll, yeah for sure, for sure. Come up if you have anything relating to that yeah um hopefully we'll have a guest eventually wow, we can cool. have guests we can have guests from elias Patterson, you hearing this <laughs> <laughs> Dude, who the fuck are these guys yeah, literally <laughs> um yeah who's one hockey player you want to interview <sighs> i i know one okay hands go right away hands fucking yeah good. Phil Kessel. Oh yeah, yeah. You, you, you didn't. Inter- that'd be a beauty interview. That'd be Dude, an that'd absolute be unreal interview. Yeah. I just want to hear him talk. We'll just have some hot dogs on the table. We'll just have it. Um, Who would it be? I don't know. Yeah, it's tough. I probably just have to say like Ovi or something. That'd be yeah, Ovi. Like, it'd be so cool to meet him. What's What's the one question you want to ask Ovi? What are your thoughts on the occupation? <laughs> <laughs> oh my yeah, god! He'd, he'd walk the fuck out of that interview. <laughs> No, he's not coming on. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, I just shit. ruined it. I just ruined it. Did he change his picture on Instagram? I took. I don't know. I don't know. If he did. Let me check. Uh-oh. You know. You know his picture, right? Wasn't it with Putin? Yeah. Yeah. You think he needs to change that? Don't. <laughs> I don't. Know. Oh no, he did not change oh, it. It's the man. same picture since the beginning. That's a statement. It's tough. Oh, it's so tough. I would. Here's my. No research take. Yeah. I think he wants to change it. Yeah. But I think if he does, no, he puts his family in so danger. There's so much pressure. Yeah. There's yeah. so much pressure. I think the danger, like the KGB, the Could secret police in Russia. There was like a North Korean hockey player superstar. Just like, I came out of nowhere. They created one in a lab, right? But then like okay. Kim Jong-un now just like controls, like he is like, you know, like he's only allowed to go play for like a team, but he's like under, you know, like surveillance still and all this shit. Yeah. Like, kind of akin you know into that like he need his picture on instagram is him shaking kim jong-un's hand like can never change it yeah because like, if you it's like a relationship right if you change that picture you're it, saying it's something. official yeah you're saying yeah, something. it's official you're saying something so yeah um also i know some youtubers that i've talked to um you know lego rocks 99. yeah 99 how do you know him well, I see his content. Like, really? He, the, he plays the video games while he talks. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So I talk to him sometimes. Okay. Well, I haven't talked to him in years, but I reached out recently. Oh, nice. So we're going to meet up. Oh, that's sick. And we just have coffee or something. That's dope, dude. Yeah, that's we'll talk, maybe he can come on. Tell him I'll kick his ass in any show. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> he kicked my ass for sure. Bro. Yo, what is with you and in fucking interrogating <laughs> Let's go, guests? let's go. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Oh, it's starting with love. OV with Putin. It's all love. It's all love. Yeah, Oveshkin and Putin's love. <laughs> It's all love. <laughs> That's putting his fucking family in danger. It's all love. Um, yeah, we he would definitely I think he would like to come on. That'd be amazing. That'd be dope, yeah. Um We saw Clay. Oh we did. And not Clay. Yeah. I didn't know it was him, so I didn't say hi, but yeah. it was the game where we went to the Canucks game and then it was the game where they lost like six, seven, two. Oh, or we something. left in the second period. Yeah. <laughs> we were down five one. It, it was, was the Florida. Canucks Legends night. Yeah. No, embarrassing. I've talked to, you know, post to post. Obviously, he's no hockey guy. Oh, yeah. Of I talked to the hockey guy a few times. He's such a nice guy. Yeah, legend. Um, Yeah, bring in Steve Dangle. <laughs> <laughs> no, to this dude, room? <laughs> if, if Steve Dangle wants us as a guest, I'm flying to Toronto. Oh, yeah, dude. Tomorrow. That'd be unreal. Yeah. That'd be so cool. Oh, my God. That'd be so cool. That'd be crazy. Um, oh. I did send him an email. Mm. Just like reach out and like, hey, I really like your channel. Mm-hmm. Um. You promised to send me hockey cards <laughs> 10 years ago, but you didn't. They and then my came. friend got it. My friend got Alex Burrow's cards and I was very salty. <laughs> and then I lost them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> um, yeah. So a lot of things, a lot of things to look forward to. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, I think also a direction we want to go is we want to bring guests in, mm-hmm. kind of talk about their life too. Mm-hmm. Um, very open. We're very open to mm-hmm. everything and anything. So, mm-hmm. Yeah, give us a lot of ideas. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. We're here to make some stuff, make something happen, grow a community, have yeah. some fun. Yeah, and at the end of the day, like I just love making people laugh. Yeah. Just some weird little quirk about me. Oh, something a little interesting <laughs> about you. <laughs> little kink. <laughs> oh. <Ooh. laughs> get them going. Get them going. 
Okay, no, it's not a kink. No, I don't. <laughs> I don't want to say it's a kink, but I I do enjoy making uh, people laugh. So, um, that was my favorite part about making YouTube videos. Like, right. I remember this comment. This guy was like, "Oh, like I'm so depressed right now, but your video made me happy." Uh, that was like very touching. That's, that's dope. That's when it was very worth it mm-hmm. for me. Well, apparently not, because he left. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know. I was just I'm taking my stuff home. Well, blame the NHL. Yeah, blame the NHL. No, but I really do appreciate those comments. So that's if if we're able to make like 10 people like that, then like I'm very, very happy. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Just want to keep on talking now. Yeah. Right, let's keep going. First episode. It's important. I, maybe like even three hours, two hours. And then, But we should mention it's never going to be this long. No, no, no. Yeah, no. every week. It can't be. <clears throat> we're going to be the next Lex, Lex Friedman podcast. <laughs> <laughs> should we crack a beer? Wow, this, then, guy, this guy literally just says you didn't want to crack a beer. <laughs> now you want to crack a beer, right? You crack a beer and finish the last how many minutes we Listen, have? Listen, I have some of Dylan Mulaney's beer in my fridge right now. Dylan Mulaney? Oh. So if you want to go crack one of those. No, no. <laughs> <Not that beer. laughs> how dare I buy that? No. Well, let me go grab some. All right, let's go grab All right. some. All right. All um, right. We usually don't do beer in podcasts, but since it's our first one. Yeah. So wait, we usually don't do it, but since it's our first one, no, it's because we've done it. So yeah, we fucking recorded how many? How many hours do you think we recorded? Total, like without editing. Yeah, and, and haven't been released any. We haven't released any of them. <laughs> <laughs> um, more than fifty hours. Oh, really? I don't think yeah. it's that much. No, we've been recording for months. <laughs> and like, this is us because we didn't just want to put out shit content. Right. This is us practicing our craft of and, podcasting. And they're like, talk. this is all you got so far. <laughs> All right, cheers. <laughs> cheers, buddy. Cheers to Dylan. Dylan Mulaney. Cheers to Ivan Provorov, <laughs> Mark Stahl, yeah, that's right. Eric Stahl. Eric Stahl. Who else is there? James Reimer. Reimer. Optimus oh. Rhyme. Optimus Rhyme. I remember Steve Dangle. So, so disappointed. <laughs> Dude, but it, you know what's so stupid though? It's, it is so funny, right? Like they they're all coming out after Ivan Provorov took a stand. But what were they doing last year? They wore the jersey. Like so, what you know? What changed? All changed was Ivan <laughs> taking a stand. Ivan, I can understand, just because he's Russian and he has family in Russia. So who knows what the KGB is listening to? Mark Stahl, Eric Stahl. Yeah, dude, grow, grow, uh, grow up. Grow fu- what? And, grow what? Grow the fuck up. Okay, let me just say this, okay? Okay, because, like, listen, we'll come, these things will come to light the more our pod, like, more podcasts we release, the more we talk, you know, but uh, my background is Christianity, right? Like, I grew, like, my, my He's a family. PK. Yeah, my family is very, so, like, pastor's kid. In, in, in the church and stuff like that. Um, so, like, you know, obviously, I understand their perspective. However, yeah. It's wrong and it's stupid. You just pissed off half the listeners. Well, guess what? Listen again because I'm going to piss you off even more. Because <laughs> my thing, right? My thing oh is, my God. yes, your religion says, even, you know, that, that in and of itself is also like in debates. But, yeah. um, you know, your religion says that this is a sin, right? And, and so they're in their minds, oh, we can't wear something that represents like a sin, right? But guess what? Like your entire like lifestyle as a professional athlete goes against like you know what I mean? Like you're you're already not practicing right. like you know what I mean? Like because your religion to the fullest extent. Yeah. Y- you're signed to a company. You've you're signed to make millions of dollars, and your company is doing. Like, and by wearing this jersey, it's not fucking saying you're sucking dick in the back parking lot. Like that's not what I'm saying, dude. Like, mm-hmm. but and, and it's not what you're admitting to either. You're just saying that hey, hockey is for everyone. You're in. It, it's an include. The sport yeah. in of itself is not Christianity. Yeah. The sport is not religion. So grow some fucking balls <laughs> and wear the fucking jersey and yeah. include every one of your fans that you've now alienated mm-hmm. with these actions. Yeah, I mean the message is you know if you're gay. If you're lesbian, if you're trans, it's okay. It's okay. You can still play hockey. It doesn't matter. It has nothing to do with whether or not you can play hockey or not. Exactly. Like, don't just decide that one aspect of your life has to be super Christian and like when you don't practice it throughout your life. And even just away from that point, like that isn't even the main point. My main point is the message that you're sending by wearing this jersey is yeah. not saying, hey, I'm gay or that, yeah. or, or even that, I, even if he, and the idea that you wouldn't support another human, like it's just is it to, is it because they don't want to support? Yeah, homosexual, gays, homosexuality. Yeah. 
that's why they don't want to support homosexuality. They don't want to. Uh, they don't want to support the LGBTQ community. But it's just like for me, which it's is like, like, it should be fair too, because it's a religion, so they can exercise whatever no, they no, want. No, no, no. But what I'm saying is, it's not like okay, you're right. Like obviously, by wearing this, you're you're joining your team in celebrating this, right? And so yeah. in a sense that you don't want to be celebrating this because it goes against what your right. religion is. But I'm saying is, bro, you signed a fucking contract. Yeah. And your contract, as a, you're, you're, you represent your company, yeah. and your company is promoting this message that's just... all And all it's saying is it's inclusive. That's mm-hmm. all it's trying to be. We're right. not making a political it, statement. It's not like, hey... Um Pray to God. That's about, what I mean. Like changing homosexuality. It's not, yeah, it's it's not like we're it's not like we're missionaries going to a foreign country yeah. trying to convert them into you yeah, know what I mean. Yeah, it's yeah. Nothing like that. We're just it's saying just, we're a jersey. Everyone can feel included. Exactly. That's and all that's it is. It. That's all it is. But you take a whole stand, and now you're alienating. And what? Like just because? Like and the sad and the saddest part, and what these people never realize, is they're like, they say all these things, right? And they're like, oh, well, none of our family members are gay or none of mm. our family. But it's like, I'm telling you right now, I guarantee you <laughs> there are people in the Stahl family yeah. that are secretly hiding, mm. like, you know, like, because it's, it's just, a, it's a statistical thing. It yeah. really is. Yeah. And now they can never truly voice because yeah. now their parents or their uncles or whoever took a stand. Yeah. Like, you know, it's just like. So they can never be themselves <gasps> in front of their own It's uncle. heartbreaking. Yeah. And it's like, obviously people are going to hear this and they're going to be like, oh, you fucking liberals. Oh, oh you fucking like, you <laughs> pussy left. Blah, blah, blah. Listen, <laughs> oh my shut God. the fuck up. I, I would love to see a comment like that. Listen, shut the fuck up. Sit down. I'm just saying, if you're gay, but you can shoot and score a goal. You're playing hockey. Like it really, come to the Canucks. Come to the Canucks. Please. Please come to the Canucks. If we could get 12 drag queens to come and score goals for us, oh. fucking put on the laces. Let's have, let's, we're have going. A, let's have a right-handed D-man to play with Hughes, the biggest drag queen oh, in the NHL. Fucking, I, I love it. Have a huge wig coming out of their helmet. I don't fucking care. Wear high heels instead of skates. Oh Just score God. some goals. I don't give a shit. Yeah. Come and on, it's, guys. It's unfortunate, too, because... Mark Stahl and like I I still love the Stahl. It's such brothers. a legendary family yeah. in hockey. It really got tainted. I'll never think of them the same way. Which is like honestly though, like I do like respect their decision as well because like they have the right to choose whatever they want as well. But, yeah. Yeah, but if like, I were them, even if I was against homosexuality, I wouldn't be doing that because like we said, it's not about you. It's not about it's you. about it's about. All the followers of hockey that and follow all the, the sport. Kids that all, like, sh- yeah, that's the big thing. It, the that's kids. the thing with me, man. Yeah. And like, I'll be honest. Do I necessarily like what's happening with like a lot of the younger like generations? Like, like ugh, this. Um, listen, I don't know how deep we want to get. Oh, you're such so, a boomer. No, listen. <laughs> but like, do I do I necessarily like the idea that like you know? Oh God, I have to be really careful <laughs> with how I say this. <laughs> I'm just. My thing is, be who you really are. Mm-hmm. And you know, and 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 just live that to the fullest. And unfortunately, yeah. like some people are just gonna. Dis- Here's the thing: people are gonna disagree with the way I live my life. Yeah, you know, but but like, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. If you matter. just be yourself, you're just living your own oh, life. God, I really almost had a speed bump there. I really <laughs> was like trying hard not to say like I didn't feel any speed bumps. I'm gonna say something. If it gets too controversial, you're gonna cut it. Oh yeah. What I was gonna say <laughs> is that. I really don't like how like the younger generation really is like almost like for what do you me mean by that for how? me it's like give children space for mm-hmm. sure mm-hmm. to express who they truly are but like mm-hmm. when you have a six year old kid that wants to wear a dress that doesn't mean he wants to be a girl right you know what I mean so don't don't push kids into because like maybe before we were pushing kids oh you're a boy you get to play with GI Joe oh you're a girl you play with Barbie right yeah but like. I feel like we've almost come to the full, oh, complete end of the spectrum now, where yeah. now it's like, oh, as soon as I see you wanting to play with a Barbie, now I'm only going to give you Barbies. Yeah. And I'm only going to dress you in pink. But it's like, yeah. why can't a child be curious? Why can't he play with both? Yeah. Why can't he just like grow up as a fucking child? Why do we need to label them as a, you know what I mean? Like, let him live. And like, I do I agree with giving children hormones to, like, that gets really sensitive. Yeah. I don't want to. I really don't like that. I don't like I, I that like, either. I don't know if we're being controversial, but I like a natural way of children finding out who, who they, they are. are yeah, right? and if it ends up being that they decide, hey, I really just don't feel in my skin yeah. that I'm who I am. All, God, God willing, or whatever, all power to you. Do what you got to do. Yeah, but let's not push children into a certain direction. I remember. Well, yeah, no, 
<laughs> no, that's put, staying my in. My hands are up right now. My hands are <laughs> that's up. That's staying in, and we're getting demonetized somehow. <laughs> in 20 years, we're going to get called out. Yeah, oh yeah, it's over. No, but I remember when I was in puberty, I was just like very angry, right? Mm. And to add on hormones on top of that, I think I would have been fucked up. And also like in grade five, we had the sex ed class, right? And then we separated the gu- the boys and the girls mm. to separate, separate rooms. Mm. And then the guy teacher would talk to the boys and the girl teacher would talk to the girls. Mm. I remember the guy teacher was like kind of trying to talk to us mm. about sex. I remember it was so weird. He was like, I like the bottom. <laughs> oh, jeez, what? But I thought that was so weird. Yeah, that is weird. That is weird. That is fucking weird. But I, th- but I think it was... I thought what I, is he saying about bottom? <laughs> he likes the ass? Yeah. Oh. So I'm going to tell my gr- a group of grade five boys, I like ass. He just, I, think he, I think he was just talking about sexuality, but I didn't really understand, even as a grade five. Oh, was he gay? No, no, no. Oh, okay. No, I didn't understand okay. as a grade five. Yeah. I think it's because puberty didn't hit yet. Okay. So maybe I didn't know what I liked. I didn't know who I was. Yeah. So I liked how... I grew up because I didn't have any influence and I I was able to learn from within or inside out, not outside in because kids can get influenced so easily. 100% they can get influenced. It's dangerous. That's what I'm saying, right? Because you see a lot of kids, like kids want to make, I mean, generalizing, but kids want to make their parents happy, right? They like, especially when you're super younger, you, you glow up when you see your parents smile. So you'll try and do things to make them smiling. Definitely. Definitely. But what if your parents are like, what if he's an Ivan Provorov? <laughs> or the other way around. What if his parents are like the opposite of Ivan Provorov and super pushy um, and super like, you know, it's going to influence yeah. the child. It, oh, this makes mom happy. Mm-hmm. Let me wear more dresses. Yeah, let, let me, me get do- more Barbie dolls. Am I lesbian? Am I trans? Like, why don't I just do this? But granted, if that is truly the case and he that's what makes him happy, all power to you. But like, yeah. let's not make that decision at six. Yeah. Let's not make that decision at eight. Yeah. What age though? That's a, that's also a question. I don't know. I mean, but I had a girlfriend in high school yeah. in grade eight. Yeah, and then she dumped me three days after she dated a guy, and then turns out that guy is gay. Yeah, yeah. So that guy didn't even know what was going on within right. himself in yeah, grade, grade nine. eight, grade nine, grade eight, grade eight. You're whatever. changing so much in that right. Time. When we graduated, even like you're kind of just like, who the fuck am I still? Yeah, you never really oh, yeah. know. You know what I mean? Oh so. yeah. We still are trying yeah, to figure that too. out. Yeah, me too. Like, even currently. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, don't be Ivan Provorov, but don't be the opposite of Ivan Provorov. Mm-hmm. Just be neutral. <laughs> A balance Just, is always good. My thing, man, don't judge anyone. Seriously, like, yeah. you have no idea what people are going through. Mm-hmm. Like, everyone you cross on the street, everyone has troubles. All the troubles that you have in your life that you complain about every single day, yeah. your your neighbor has the exact same problems. Yeah. And we're all struggling. And it's just like, we don't need more hate. Literally, just like, fucking, just have a beer and chill out. You're such a liberal. Yeah, literally, that's, I, I know that's what everyone's going to say. They're going to call me a beta male, a fucking pissy bitch. Like, but guess what? No. I think I'm real. I just think, like, I don't. Well, I honestly, I have, because I've only produced content just about hockey, I right. try not to be controversial about anything. That's why I talk about Trump and everything. <laughs> you run all the political. No, like before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like years ago. So I have no idea what everyone's stance mm-hmm. is like. We're not a political podcast. And I'm not saying everyone has to listen to this and agree with what no, I'm we're saying. we're talking either. about this because of Proveron. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We're not a political podcast. And like, to be honest with you, I almost hope that a lot of you guys disagree because I want dialogue. I want mm-hmm. I want to learn. Like, why do you truly believe that like, you know, we shouldn't support the LGBTQ community? Like, why should we? And like, maybe things were getting a little bit like, you know, like, it almost felt like every month we were celebrating something, you know what I mean? And it's like at some point, like we're doing that today, like right now. With what? Just every month is a celebration. Oh, right, like yeah. exactly. It's Pride Month right now. Like yeah. it's like, like you know, and we have like, I mean, every night there's something going on, like or every month there's something going on, and we're celebrating something at a game. And I guess that's cool. I mean, it just shows yeah. how multicultural we are it's and cool. stuff. It's cool. I think I'd rather have that than not. Right. Yeah. And also, isn't it better for the franchises? Like they they sell those jerseys. Yeah. Yeah, like, Canucks have like Filipino jerseys. That's what I mean. Like, that's jerseys. Dope. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, honestly, I think the way to go for the NHL was pro overall, if you don't want to wear the jersey, fine. Don't yeah. wear it. Don't warm up. Yeah. And that's it. Yeah. But why get rid of everyone's makes jersey? Makes no sense. Because also what? Just because... They're scared. Uh, they're scared. What are they, you scared about? 
if you want to grow the game, attention. that's good. Yeah, no, they're scared of attention. That's that's just so backwards. It's so backwards. It, it's it's business wise, it's backwards. Socially, it's backwards. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then you look at the, you look at the NBA, right? Just killing it. Yeah, just killing. Even it. um, well, I mean. Just taking away from hockey for two seconds, but last night, Shohei Otani, do you see his stat line? No. So, fucking crazy. But number one, it was like an Asian American celebration night or something like that. Yeah. Perfect. Apparently, 85% of the stadium was Asian people. But it's wow. just like, that's the power of business, bro. Like, mm-hmm. like why can't we think like that? But also, Otani, he was pitching and hitting, right? I think he had over 10 strikeouts. He had two home runs and like a double. Like, the same game? Same game. Wow. Greatest Crazy. player of all time. Literally, he's a, he's fucking insane. They're talking about like they were saying like his contract's gonna be so big, they're just gonna get part ownership of the LA like franchise as part of his contract. And people are like, we'd be happy if that happened. Yeah, <laughs> like like <laughs> it, it's because if he can do everything, he has to get max, right? He has to get max. What is the max contract? Oh, is there a max? Oh, it's fucking. We're talking big numbers. Yeah, we're not talking little pussy NHL numbers here. We're talking like. <laughs> Big boy hey, numbers. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey. Hey, now. I think... It's 15 million a year now. It's 16.7, I 16. think. 16.7? They 7? just upped it to 16.7. So, I Bedard is getting 16.7 coming to Vancouver. <sighs> no, but like... Um, it would cripple us. <laughs> <laughs> just our luck could it would just cripple us. But yeah, that's... Um, it's just upsetting, you know? I. It's just upsetting for me because, number one, we're getting rid of pride jerseys, mm. which is like upsetting. Number two, we're missing an opportunity to market the game 100%. with controversy. Yeah, is upsetting. Mm-hmm. But I don't. NHL is never going to catch up. Mm-hmm. I lost hope, mm-hmm. especially when they're copywriting my video because you know. And it's still happening. You were talking about, and that would be the game changer of NBA, right? Being smaller than the well, NHL, like not I was, copywriting my video. I don't watch like the Nelk Boys at all. Like I don't know them at all, to be yeah. honest with you. But I saw that one a reel or that clip of them. Talking to Dana White, right? And they were saying like, oh, we were trying oh, yeah. to work with the NHL and they were doing nothing with yeah. us. Yeah. So the NHL, okay. So NHL didn't want to do podcasts with Nelk Boys. Okay. They didn't want to bring Steve Dangle to the All-Star game. Okay. Yeah. I don't know what direction you guys want well, to go. What, do you, what are you guys trying to do? <laughs> like what? What? We're just going uh, to. But what? they do some, like there's this Instagram guy called Coach Chippy. Okay. Do you know? No, I don't. It's pretty funny because he, um. He makes it out of Phil Kessel. So okay. his whole thing is talking like Phil Kessel. Okay. But they bring him on and stuff, but they just don't do enough. I think. Mm. It's very unfortunate. It's like, dude, there's like, this, um, sorry, there's this on Instagram, there's this guy, like this Mexican guy doing pranks. Mm. He just like, it's like a nuisance, okay. public nuisance. Yeah. It's like a public prank. Whenever he gets a confrontation, he goes like, <laughs> right? Yeah. He got invited to the NBA All-Star game. Dope. He, he has like it. millions, millions of subscribers, yeah, like followers on Instagram. That's the NBA. You know what the fucking NHL did a couple of seasons ago? What? Remember that fucking like skinny ass TikTok guy? I don't even know his name. Like, who? He works for. He, he does. I know. I see him on podcast with the fucking um the, the barstool guy? president person. Um, I don't watch barstool. Uh, Dave Portnoy, and um, it's like him and. So it's the fact that you don't even know him, but he was supposed to be like the representative of like the NHL oh, for the younger the, generation, the TikTok right? Guy. Yeah, the, yeah, like, yeah. I remember was, seeing that. Like, yeah, that's your way of con- like, you're, you've already lost the plot. Yeah, like, you you don't even know what's happening right now. So if I was the NHL, Steve Dangle, number one, sure, yeah, boom, yeah, who <laughs> already has a guy. huge fan base, yeah, and then profit share everyone with on YouTube, World Cup of Hockey, come back, please, yeah, and you know, it is. You know what the number one thing the NHL should do? Mm. Have a second broadcast game with mics in the stanchions, right? All right, sure. No filters. Yeah, just all pick swear words. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be the best game to listen to. You think that would grow it really? Like, oh yeah, easy. Yeah, that, would, that is just gold mine. You know what's wild, actually? Um, kind of on that, kind of in that vein. So like, you know that one reaction channel? Like, I, I, I watch a lot of weird. Like, I just love weird stuff on YouTube. Reaction like, channel is not weird. No, no, but it's just boring. Like you find it, it is very boring. boring. It you, is like 2010. Listen, but <laughs> these guys, I'm wa- listen. I still love it. Okay. So I'm watching these guys. They're learning. There's some two British guys, um, and they're learning like North American sports, right? Right, right, right. So, like, obviously, as more of like a hockey fan, I appreciate more when they like watching hockey videos. Yeah. Um, but they haven't really touched on it too, too much. And obviously, the first few videos that they reacted were biggest hits, craziest fights, all this kind of stuff. But the most recent video they watched was best dangles. Right, mm. and it was the first react. They were like, "We never expected this." Like genuinely, like we never 
knew that this was possible really? kind of a thing. And like, it just goes wow. to show, man, like there's so many things about hockey that are so beautiful Yeah, that people just never get to see. Because when you talk to someone that doesn't watch hockey, the yeah. first thing they say is, oh, you fight there, right? <laughs> but to me, fighting is the least important part of hockey. To me, it's literally, no, it, it's inconsequential. Yeah. Maybe back in the day, sure, you hit our superstar, we're going to fucking knock you out, whatever, whatever. Nowadays, it's just like, dude, what are you guys doing? Just mm-hmm. you're wrestling and then falling to the ice. It's just boring. You know what I mean? Like, I yeah. I personally wouldn't mind if they got rid of fighting in hockey. Like that. It, it is it's like it is essential sometimes though. When you <laughs> like, okay, I close my eyes. Right, yeah. the first thing I picture is Brad Marchand punching <laughs> Daniel. <laughs> S- I know exactly what you're gonna say. Brad Marchand punching Daniel City in the face. How'd you know? Because I think about that too when I close my eyes. But that's called trauma. <laughs> But guess what? You know what's crazy though? You're right. Like, you know, I wish someone would have stepped in and fucking grabbed his face and like, you know, get whatever. But like, that would still happen even if fighting wasn't allowed. They would just get a penalty for it. But just if, move on. Then why doesn't that happen these days? Does it still happen? It still happens. But I'm just saying like, it's just not... Like, those are the only moments when I find that it matters and that it's important. But I feel like it's almost over dramatic now. Like, before... It, like, it's staged. Like, no, no. But, like, that 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 example that you produced is, like, a pretty severe thing where I would say it, <laughs> it, it should have induced some sort of reaction. Yeah. Not, sh- not Daniel Sidney getting a penalty after that? Yeah. yeah, yeah. It should have reduced, induced more of a reaction than that. Yeah. But I'm talking about, like, dude, if, if, like, I don't know, if you have a player like Johnny Goudreau, right, skating down the middle of the ice, and he gets flattened in, in center cheap ice. Cheap shot it. Head no, shot, not even cheap shot. Say it was a clean hit. Okay. Oh, but yeah. But now yeah. they're still getting jumped. It's just, like, it's too much. Why can't we just acknowledge it was a good hit and move on and keep playing the game? But now, just because Johnny Goudreau got hit, we have to fight him now. We have to be like, oh, you can't touch him, bitch. But it's like... Let's, okay, let's say you're on the Canucks. Yeah. You're a fourth line okay. checker. Yeah. You see, you're on a line with Petey. Yeah. How would I be on the f- line with Petey <laughs> if I was a fourth line know. checker? But Coach gave you a chance. Line changes happen. Something happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Canucks are not making the playoffs yeah. again, so they okay. want to experiment. Okay. And try to get a 12th overall pick. Okay. <laughs> so anyways. Um, yeah, I see Petey get rocked. I say Petey gets rocked. Yeah. Listen, I'm jumping in there. I get it. I get it. Are you going to jump in or not? I-, I would. I would. Why? Because you're not touching Petey. But you just said... Listen, I get it. Okay, I'm, I'm <laughs> contradicting me? myself. I'm contradicting myself. I'm just saying that... Listen, I understand from the player's perspective. Yeah. But as a fan, it's just like... It's just guys. Like, let's move on. Like, why? What? So you're going to teach him a lesson by rubbing his face for five seconds? Like, no. But you got to do something. Maybe a clean hit. Like, totally clean yeah. hit. Yeah. I think that's fair. Right? But I think hockey is kind of different than other sports where it's so easy to get cheap shotted. Yeah. You know that... Um, You know Evans with Shifley? In the playoffs. Oh yeah, of? yeah, yeah. The empty That's net. when the empty you kind of want to beat up Shifley Sh- right. if you're Montreal. another team, Montreal, yeah, for sure. Right? For sure. There's no way he's getting away with that. Like, but, is it? I'm pretty sure he did get away with it. Well, there's a big scrum. He probably fought. No, yeah, I don't remember. Maybe. But I, I don't remember. Either. That's when someone needs to step up and fight. Yeah, I agree. But like a clean hit, like a just clean, clean hit. Take it and move on. Play the game. If Petey got rocked, I would still like to see some. No, for sure. Like, I'm sounding, <laughs> I'm contradicting myself hard, but <laughs> I, I think I'd see two different point, perspectives though. from a fan and from a just like uh, okay, from like from a teammate. Obviously, I'm saying like don't fuck with our guy, but yeah. But Back also, in- sorry, if you're going to say don't fuck with my guy, actually fight and beat him up. Like, get, yeah. actually teach him a lesson. I was, I was gonna say back in the day, um, the reason why I got into hockey was George Larocque. Mm, really? Because he was like a badass mm-hmm. fighter. Mm-hmm. He would beat the shit out. Yo, a long time ago when I started watching hockey in like 2006-ish, they would literally both grab each other. Both guys wouldn't even try to dodge. Oh, yeah. Just punch. Like both of them are punching yeah. at the same time. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Whoever can take it. That was amazing to watch. Now they're just, all you're doing is spinning in circles, grabbing each other's jerseys, pulling, yeah. pulling, 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 and then you fall. Yeah, they're just not that that kind of players, right? That's what I mean. Like, like, don't do it. Speed. Go score a goal. I think that's a bigger message to send than punching the guy in the face. But I don't know. Maybe that's, that's true. Just, but you know what? You know you know what I sound like? I sound like Lame Vigneau in the 2011 finals. S- <laughs> score on the power play. Like, just don't, don't retaliate. <laughs> score on the power play. And guess what, guess what uh, happened? I want to stop talking about the Canucks. <laughs> I keep drinking them up. Uh, you know, going back to the Canucks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
the only times I'm excited in the season is during trade deadline and draft. Mm, yeah. And free agency. Yeah. And the start of the season. I'm always yeah, excited yeah. about the start of the season. That's the only times I'm interested. Yeah. But moving on. <laughs> Playing fantasy hockey this year? But yeah. Huh? Are we doing fantasy hockey this year? Oh, yeah. Definitely. Are you doing fantasy football this year? Oh, yeah. Definitely. Oh, let's go. I got this guy into fantasy football. That's a big, yeah. that's a big dub on my part. Yeah, fantasy football is way better than fantasy hockey. I wish they would make fantasy hockey better. I, I just think it's the way the schedule is, though. What That's you, the biggest thing. What would hockey be like? Would it be more popular if it had like 12 games a season per team? It's <laughs> <laughs> a really interesting question. If it like it had like 16 or 17 games like the NFL? Like, like it would be like the whole season is the playoffs. But the thing is, it would be crazy. Exactly. exactly. That's exactly what it would be like. Every game is matters. Every game... like. You're prepping so much for one moment and yeah. one game. That would be amazing. But that's honestly... The only thing that would be I bad... Like that. Yeah. I, I think like that, that would be way lot. better. Yeah, I think so too. But I think that one thing that would be bad is for the owners. Oh, All for the, sure. Yeah. Well, why doesn't the NFL do that then? Isn't that more money for they, them? No, the players literally couldn't survive. Oh. <laughs> they're, they're, they're already dying with yeah, the, with yeah, the yeah. schedule that they have. Yeah, my my mistake was last year in fantasy was drafting two running backs. Yeah, and then an NFL running back. He's they, injury yeah, prone. They're yeah. just after five years. Too done. bad you didn't draft Joe Mixon, eh? Yeah, well, <laughs> you ruined my season <laughs> against you. Um, uh, what is it? Uh, speaking of though, I it's on that on that kind of idea. I wouldn't necessarily mind if the NHL kind of adopted like the Premier League kind of schedule, like. Sure. I mean, here's the thing. What I love that? what is that like? Like what? 36, 37 games. Okay. Like sometimes you might have a couple games in the same week, but usually it's like one a week. Okay. Um, you know, and it's like it would make each game so much more important. It yeah. really would. It really would. Eight, yeah. But dude, like, I don't when, know. When we went to the Canucks game, that, yeah. that game like, during the Legends night this yeah. season, like oh. it was such a. You could tell the players did not no. care. They're just. Why would you floating around, not do, not trying? I'm like, oh my god, I paid fifty dollars for this. Yeah, seriously. Well, it's 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 the same as the NBA. Like players are taking load (laughs) load load management nights. Like, yeah, it's different, dude. It's not the same. Uh, That's a very interesting proposal, though. Yeah, let me talk to Gary. I'll be the new (laughs) NHL commissioner. There you go. Do you hear Zuckerberg and yeah Elon Musk? Elon Musk? But it's already canceled or something. Is it canceled? Because Elon's mom won't let him box or something. Oh my god! <laughs> or something. I mean, I'm sure. I'm sure the reasons are Is that more real? than just. I don't Does know, that sound real? It's probably more like they don't want anyone liable. They don't need anyone getting injured or fucking. I don't know if 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 Zuckerberg gets knocked out, does Meta like stock crash or something? <laughs> like you know what I mean? Like that would that might be that would have been the biggest fight in oh, human history. Oh, people would have. Oh, that would have been crazy. Like, and all the comments uh, like Zuckerberg's gonna release his true form, become a lizard, <laughs> and like it's just like so funny. Who would you pick to win? See, so Musk is the bigger guy, yeah, right? He's way bigger. Zuckerberg's but, like more built. Well, so Zuckerberg trains jujitsu, really, he does, but oh. but um, he doesn't um, that uh, train jujitsu is not boxing, there's very different arts, so it's kind of like I don't know, is that saying something or yeah. like. Is it kind of just like, okay, you're fit, but I'm bigger and stronger, so I'm going to punch you out. You know what I mean? I don't know. Yeah. Like, it's... I would probably put my money on... It would have to be Musk, no? Musk? I would say so. Just because he's bigger? When two athletes, and neither of them really have any boxing training, yeah. that I know of at least, yeah. you'd have to go with the bigger guy, no? Mm-hmm. If it was a jiu-jitsu match, I'd definitely say Mark Zuckerberg, because yeah. the smaller guy can beat the bigger guy in jiu-jitsu if you have the right technique. Yeah. Do you see that Japanese video of like 400 pound guy fighting a MMA fighter? No, it's sumo wrestler. I know what happened. Was it a... What he did was he just kept on like jumping around yeah. until he got tired and, and then it went for the head back. and yeah. then the MMA fighter won. What my perception is, like people are always like, oh, when you watch UFC, oh, wrestling is so boring. Like all this shit, right? Wrestling? Like, like, WWE? Like, no, no, no. When you're watching UFC, like the grappling. Yeah, yeah. You, you, I even find you. that boring. Exactly. But yeah. dude, like my whole thing is, bro, do you think that like like those people want to be in the, like the person attacking the person doing the attacking grappling like you're so talented and so strong enough that you're literally preventing that person from escaping your grip like that is such a skill yeah that like is so underappreciated just and it's, it, it you know it's just like 
It's like, I guess, how people would make fun of, like, a sumo wrestler or something. You just, like, you don't understand the craft. People make fun of cricket, for example. Like, but it's like, I think cricket's a beautiful sport. Like, the most popular sport in the world. It really is. Cricket, number wise. People make fun of golf, you know? Yeah. Golf's such an incredibly difficult sport. Yeah. Just, like, all these things like that. People don't understand, like, how much effort goes into, like, these, these pure, like, these athletes. It would be awesome if we had Kevin VX as a guest. <laughs> That'd be unreal. Now he's, we're reaching. He's too big. He's too big yeah. for us now. But he had some really funny stories about Tortorella. <laughs> about like one of the city kids. Okay, so, so Tortorella was really <laughs> pissed during yeah. like end like end of the game or something. Okay. And then he's very like everyone fucking listen to me when I talk, mm. especially when I'm mad. Mm. But apparently um the toilet like someone flushed a toilet or something got, <laughs> and totally totally got rattled yeah. but, but it was like one of the city's kid or something <laughs> so you can always say shit but he was just like hey. I don't know, this is shit like that uh, it's just so gold uh, he, he must have so many good stories so, so i'm really excited to see where everything goes mm-hmm. very excited to keep on producing mm-hmm. creative content very excited to reconnect with everyone again mm-hmm. Whoever is left. <laughs> I'm excited to join. Yeah. I'm Welcome excited. aboard. Thank you. Thank uh, you. We got our second jock. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. The second ball. <laughs> second testicle, baby. It's Let's go. It's complete now. It's complete. Yeah. I'm right to rock. It's good. Great. So Steve Dangle, if you're hearing this, <laughs> <laughs> please, we're big fans. God. You know, it's so funny. I, I mentioned this to you before too, but I remember messaging Steve Dangle when I was like grade seven. Really? You messaged yeah. him? Being like, because he had the LFR. And oh, I, yeah, I, yeah. I wanted to make the CFR, oh. the Canucks fan reaction. I, <laughs> and you wanted permission, right? And I wanted permission because oh I God, didn't want to so steal cute. his idea. And like he said, yeah, go for it. Really? And I never made a video. But uh, That just shows you how humble that guy is. Right. Well, I mean, he probably also thought like, oh, who the fuck's this random weird guy like asking me no, to, you know? No, but no. Like, that's the kind of person that we need. Yeah. In you know that long time ago, there was a channel called React? Uh, just React? Two guys? Yeah. They're like the original React channel on okay. YouTube. They wanted to vaguely remember that. They wanted to copyright the word React on YouTube. So anyone that uses their format, they wanted to copyright. Oh, the Fine Bros. It. Yeah, the Fine yeah, Bros. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. The Fine Bros. Fuck, get the fuck out of here, dude. But you see, Steve Dangle, he yeah. was the first one to produce those kind of videos. Right. He's like, please go for it. Yeah. What a what a guy. What a, what a G. What a guy. What a G. And I hope his podcast just continues to grow. Oh, it's it's amazing. I love it. Yeah. And I love how he's he has to have a. Optimus Prime mask. <laughs> well, maybe not anymore. Yeah, not, <laughs> yeah, maybe yeah, not anymore. That is not coming back. <laughs> maybe not anymore. What do you think? Actually, I was gonna. Well, I was gonna talk about all the trades, but there's one trade in particular I want to talk to you about. Yeah. But what do you think about the big LA versus uh, LA and Winnipeg trade? PLD yeah, going over. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. Um, for Velarde, I have followed. The next Jonathan <laughs> Tays. Why don't we draft Elias? Peterson, <laughs> this, why do we always draft Swedish guys? You know what's crazy too, though. So how old is Velarde now? Oh, he's still pretty young though. Velarde, he got drafted in the PD draft, right? So, Did PLD get signed? Yeah, you don't see eight years. Eight years, and guess what the per year per year is? Eight. Eight point five. Okay, uh, so number one. Twenty three years old. Gabriel I'm laughing Velarde. at Montreal fans. Yeah, because <laughs> they were oh every they yeah we we all thought PLD was going there for yeah. sure. I thought Winnipeg fleeced LA. It's crazy okay, because so PLD didn't even want to stay, right? No, he. Oh yeah, they got a lot. I mean, so uh, let's see this. So Gabriel Velarde, his career high in points in a in, in a season was forty one points in sixty three games. So a pretty good player. That's a, that's like not a bad player. That was his last season. Forty one points in sixty three. Yeah, that's really that's, good. That's pretty good. That's really good. But like um, Alex, so, Alex Alfalo specifically, like I remember, like this is like in terms of betting. But I always saw his name popping up on the score sheet. So yeah. I, like Alex Alfalo was always the guy I bet on to score a goal. Yeah. But like I looked at his actual season overall stats. He's like a thirty point player. Really? Ha- like his highest was like forty something. But it's like thirty point player. It's like eh. And then a second round pick. I don't know if they fleeced him. I don't know. I just feel like. Like wait, what was the trade that we traded Ryan Kessler for? It was like Nick. Well, Bagina. we got Lucas Spiza. <laughs> the Spies. <laughs> the Pizza Spiza. Lucas Pisa, Nick third Bonino. Round, and Bonino, I think that was And it. a third round yeah. pick. I mean, so they got a better deal for PLD than we did for yeah. Ryan Kessler. It's like, because what I think about PLD is, is like, he's, he was going to leave anyway. Yeah. Right? So what are you really going to get? He only wants to go to Montreal. Right. But maybe LA was like, hey, actually, we really want PLD. Yeah. 
we'll pay extra so that he doesn't go to Montreal right. and signs with us. Right, right. So maybe they got good leverage. Pick. Because I wonder what Montreal was offering. Probably nothing because yeah. he wants to. He was going to come anyways for free agency. But do you think PLD's worth 8.5? He really popped off like two years ago. Yeah, but like he's never scored more than 60 points a season. Really? Like 8.5... Maybe the maybe the scales are differing now, but like to me, eight point five is like you're dude. You're like a player player. It sounds like you're a second line player now. Eight point five. <sighs> you think so? Especially now the cap is like 15, 16 now. Right. But Dard might get like fifteen plus million per year now. Yeah. Let's Chicago. see how we, let's see let's see how it pans out first. Yeah, though, he's but. he's uh he's a McDavid. Yeah. Well, I I'm so conflicted because I really want to see the kid succeed. I really do. But I don't want to see Chicago succeed. Like that's that's not a team I need to see win another cup right now. I don't mind. You go to the wash. I can't remember the last thing we were talking about. Yeah, so we went for a pee break. Yeah, came then- back and then just started chatting and totally forgot where. <laughs> well, all we remember is talking about Ivan Provorov. That's right. And his legacy. The biggest, uh, what is it? Biggest supporter of the LGBTQ community. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't it be so funny if we had like a background flag of Provorov in a, in a pride oh flag? My <laughs> God. And then we get contacted by the KGB being like, you removed that. Okay, we'll, we'll have all the Stahl brothers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all three go. of them. There you go. Optimus rhyme with the, with the Optimus uh, Prime mask, but it's all rainbow. That's what it is. You know, you know what would be so funny? If we have all five of those guys yeah. in the pride flag. With makeup on their faces. <laughs> and it's just, just their faces on the pride flag. All we're going to get is like com- emails from their PR team being like, remove this. Hey. We're going to sue you I for guess defamation. we're different from the NHL. We like controversy. Yeah, hey, cool. <laughs> no, but I think that's I think that's so funny. I just think it's like, grow up. Just grow the fuck up. Everyone, everyone in the world, just grow the fuck up. That's it. Please. <laughs> Myself included. <laughs> we all just need to grow up. We all need to suck it up. We all just need to fucking live. And follow Steve Dangle's podcast. And yes. No, and you know what? No. Fuck Steve Dangle. No, I'm kidding. No, I'm kidding. Okay, okay, okay. But follow our podcast it, too. It is kind of weird how Steve Dangle is our like idol, hockey idol in a way. Like social media I mean, hockey. Listen, idol. I'll be honest. Like to call him my idol is a little bit Okay. It's he's he's a guy I used to watch a lot and I enjoy him. And... I think he inspired me a lot. Sure, to start yes, the channel. For sure, yeah, for sure. I, I could agree with that. Yeah. And he inspired me to create CFR, which I never did. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but you reached out. But I reached you made out. The first step. Yeah, I did, I did. The CFR. I am sorry. I, I gotta say this one thing about me. I gotta say this one thing though. Yeah. And this might ruin my relationship with Steve, but I will I, I don't think it will. But I am the fan that Steve hates. Cause I what? love watching his videos whenever the Leafs are like one of my favorite videos of all time, and I and I know that's and I one of my favorite like videos of all time is that time they lost oh like was it ten two or nine two to Nashville? Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah, like yeah. he just had a meltdown in his room, and I was just like, oh, I love that video so much. I, there was a video of Steve where um they like lose in the playoffs or something, and he was talking about people like us. Yeah. Like, <laughs> no. Freak you! But I'll say this to you, Steve, and I'll say this to anyone listening out there that's in the similar boat, like uh, a fan of a sad team. It's because I like it's a camaraderie thing. I feel that pain that you felt. That's why you hate the Leafs. I don't hate. Like, listen, I just hate the Leafs because I'm jealous. Like About they, what? Because like. The Leafs, they have all the superstars. They have all the money. They have all these. They have a GM that, well, well they had a GM, I should say. Oh, I love that Tubis. was savvy with the money yeah. and can make things work. Like, yo, when they got O'Reilly, I really thought that was the key. Yeah. I thought that, I yeah, really thought, too. oh boy, this is O'Reilly, it. O'Reilly, Achari. Um, like, really, like, it was like, they were ready. And, yeah. hey, they, I mean, they won one round. <laughs> <laughs> they won one round. My dream, back in the day. I remember, um, so I had an interview with the Canucks as an, for an internship for marketing <laughs> nice. and sales. I remember that, yeah. And they're like, what is your goal or something? And I told them, I want to be the GM. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. They must and, have, they, and they laughed. Oh, they must have been laughing at yeah, you in the back they, room later. <laughs> they were just like this fucking motherfucker. Yeah. That is one of my cringy moments that I think about. <laughs> They still probably joke about you to this day. Remember that yeah. kid? That kid? No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> you know, like, um, I remember they laughed for like two seconds, two, two three seconds. 
And then I wasn't laughing. Right. I was dead serious. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, oh. Uh, oh, they're serious <laughs> about this. Yeah, it stops laughing. <laughs> something definitely we have to do for the playoffs, though, is definitely make like a playoff bracket pool or something. That'd be cool. That'd be cool. Everyone but could join in. I would No, but like 10 people is way too little. Yeah. But like a playoff bracket, you know what like brackets are? Oh, bracket, yeah. Yeah, yeah. make like yeah. a bracket challenge thing. That'd yeah. be cool. What does a winner get? Well, you can create whatever. We'll send him my personal <laughs> a jock. hockey jock yeah, that we'll I use for you. hockey. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that'd be cool. That's something I definitely want to explore. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We'll have a, um, that'd be cool to do like per month. Right. The Some sort of. The biggest, the most assists right. for September. Or something someone picks someone or like we all vote on like a name or something and like that kind of bracket hmm. i don't know but that'd be kind of cool like some random set like the most player with what's the most random set you can think of the most player with the least amount of ice time <laughs> what like the player that plays the most games but averages the least yeah, yeah something of, yeah. like that that'd right, be kind some of bullshit yeah. like that so at least 50 minimum 50 games in like, september but least who has the best there. ratio of block shots to shots taken on net or something like that <laughs> like award them like a crazy that actually sounds hilarious I who, that who would be. what player plays the most with no points <laughs> yeah there you go yeah there you go oh it's got to be like a speaking of carl alzer it probably would be some, some player like him it would be oh like, yeah that's actually that's kind of dumb because it's gonna be a defenseman yeah probably. it would for sure be a defenseman yeah. but who knows maybe it's a forward and then the winner gets a pat on the back and a smile the winner can come to the podcast for to my house. <laughs> <laughs> no online podcast. For, Zoom in. Yeah, I don't know. That'd be fun. That'd be really fun. Mm-hmm. I would love to do that. That's the best part. Just like, oh, do you know I made a Discord server? Once? Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> we should do it again. Yeah. I'll keep it. Po- or bring it back alive. So you know I made a Discord server once. I said you should bring it back alive. Yeah, no, I yeah. said it because you on. Oh, sorry. Oh, my apologies. <laughs> my apologies. Um, that's very cool. I think that'd but cool. the reason why I did that was because it was like a direct way of me connecting with yes. people. Yes. With the people that was like spending time. Well, watching. that reaction channel I was talking about that I watched, like yeah. they created a Discord and like yeah. that's how they get all their information and learning. Yeah. What was weird about that Discord mm. was like someone made like this picture channel. Okay. And it was like full of like furry porn. <laughs> So we have to get rid of it. I think it's the audience that you attract, but no, I'm kidding. I think, are people, can people just create channels? Don't you need to be like a mod or something to create it? I don't, I think. You must made, have had a public or something. We made a mod, but yeah. people were adding that kind of content. I don't know. I don't know how it worked. But okay. So we had this universal hockey Discord server. Oh, that's pretty cool. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to bring all the hockey fans into one Discord channel. One of them must have been a furry. And then it just became a furry right. porn channel. Right. <laughs> Right up your alley. It wasn't yeah, like yeah. It's, it's too bad it's gone. <laughs> yeah, very excited to come back. Mm-hmm. Um, honestly, if I get like a thousand views, very happy. Yeah. Very happy. And hey, this is the start. We're going to grow. Those that are listening, those that are still listening to this point. Yeah, they are. You know they, they're they here. They're right. amazing. Like, and just so you know, this is only going to get better. This is only going to keep improving. How? We're going to keep growing. Our knowledge is going to keep growing. Our comfortability on the mic is going to keep growing. Our um, We're going to get the hockey guy in here. Oh, dude. <laughs> this house is about to become lit. I could realistically ask the hockey guy to dinner. I'll say he lives within two hours. Yeah. He lives well, in our... The greater Vancouver yes, area. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, he yeah, lives very around close. us. We're very close. Yes. Which I only learned last week, which is very cool. Yeah. That's very cool. I, I, I guess I'm realizing like how many content creators there are out here. Yeah. There really, Clay, there's so Legos, many. Legos like here in Vancouver. Yeah, like, yeah that's right. Yeah. Legos too. That's right. Yeah, the hockey guy. Yeah, like it's small. It's a small, really knit, nice hockey community. Yeah. 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 I know some guys in Toronto. Wow. Yeah, a lot of great people that I met over mm-hmm. the years Yeah, doing this. And I just lost contact, but we'll definitely stay in touch. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, you're back now. Yeah. That's good. The jock is back. The jock is back, baby. Put it back on. Strap it on tight. <laughs> Get ready for a ride. <clears throat> we'll begin our podcast every time. It's like, all right, guys. Strap your jocks. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I think it's the last time you should ever say that. <laughs> Strap your drugs, uh. boys. Uh, man. I would love to see what people think. Mm-hmm. That'd be really dope. Mm-hmm. No more furry shit, please. <laughs> yeah, whoever fucking started that you know, shit. You have no idea what that pic- those pictures were. Like, they were very graphic. Uh, like, when I think of a furry, I'm, I'm picturing someone like dressed up as. No, no, no. It was more. Oh. It was like a picture of. Oh, yeah. Nice. It's like straight on. Nice. Just not even the Japanese censor shit. It's no, just straight no, no, on no, no, no. No HD censor. quality. It was like drawn like it was pretty crazy. Nice. And the ironic thing is that was the most active channel. <laughs> I don't know if it was one person that was like posting all yeah. that, but the most active channel. I don't know. Maybe I think it, maybe. I think I think what this just shows is that the fan bases that you attract are just, you know, uh, reminiscent of you of who right. you are right just my voice no just no no, no, no. just like they can sense your personality and the things that you desire mm. right mm. Th- through the way you speak so maybe you should rebrand the channel well listen Some we'd probably be a lot more popular theme. if we did <laughs> we'd be a lot more popular if we did uh, well hopefully we don't get any furry comments you're just inviting furry <laughs> comments now that's all you're doing you're inviting furry comments <laughs> Hopefully you don't get any. What's your thoughts on furries? Listen. I guess I should say um, for everyone that's been asking where I am, for people that are listening, like, thank you very much. Mm-hmm. That is big commitment. I think if I had a YouTuber like that, I don't think I'd comment where you, where are you mm-hmm. and stuff. Mm-hmm. I'd be curious, but not to the extent of like, where are you? listen to the new video and stuff so really appreciate that thank you so much for that i haven't like i look at all the comments Mm -hmm. too so i know what you guys are saying to me Mm -hmm. so thank you and he didn't leave for no reason there was definitely and i didn't say i was gonna leave because i some part of my heart was like i'm eventually gonna come back right but right now is not the right time right right but i feel like right now is the right time (laughs) this Uh, is the right time I do agree. Yeah. I do agree. Yeah. All right. Well, to whoever is out there listening to us. Yes. Thank you so much for your time. I always appreciate your time. And we're looking to upload every week now, Mm -hmm. at least one episode. To the old formatting videos, I'm not ruling anything out. Eventually, one day, we might revisit. Yeah. It just depends on the restrictions that we have. Right. And yeah, tell us what you think about all the audio quality, the content. Tell us what you want to hear from the future Mm -hmm. and let us know your thoughts. And we're going to have fun with it. And maybe one day you guys will be on too. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) I would love that. I would love that. Yeah. Oh, we should mention we are uh, eventually going to plan to add some visuals to this. Is that, I don't know if that's what you want to add to this. Add, you uh, mean camera? Yeah. 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 So that is our plan for now, but Mm -hmm. depends on how this starts off mm-hmm. depends on the yeah so get on demand get some likes in there <laughs> come on now grow the grow this video a little bit get it going yeah canadian jock is back baby come on ready right. to roll all right all right <laughs> <laughs> all right all right come on ready to roll um we're gonna open up tiktok instagram twitter just for reels for the podcast yeah. but our main focus is gonna be youtube so it's not like gonna be a long time ago where i post like eight months <laughs> like once every three months it's gonna be weekly podcasts and like i said talk about whatever mm-hmm. that we have on mind current events mm-hmm. life anything so anything. let us know and thanks for listening <laughs> bye <laughs> okay <laughs>